Hi guys. How we doing? I think I have Shasha on the back. She's just chilling. I popped over to Shares Live. Molly's ended. Shares was on another call with DNC and she recorded something in her words. Disgusting. She needed to report it to TBI before she can release it. Oops. One second. Do you know what, sorry about that. Do you know what um, she said, Miss uh, Robin? That's interesting. Did anyone else hear it on Cher's channel? Miss Robin, do you know what it was about? Hello, hello, hello. No, she couldn't say, but she said it was really bad. Okay. She wouldn't tell us. Hmm. She said it was disgusting. All right. Hmm. What do you mean, Tara? Why would they go back? Yeah, I agree, Miss Robin. I think we're so done with this case. You know, we're also emotionally, physically mentally drained. Is she, um, is she not live now? All I heard Mark say was he didn't confess. All I heard Mark say was he didn't confess. Thank you, dear. Hope you're well. Good to see you. Every time Shira has gone live lately. Do you think Shira knows more? A lot of people think that her or share knows more, and some people believe Benny may as well. She, you no, know, she ended her lab so she could call TB out. Interesting. Okay. Thank you, Make Smiles. Um. Hey, Kim. Come on up. So, um, sorry. Um, BK is constantly trying to protect Don. Interesting. Somebody sent me a video. Actually, they emailed it to me, and they said that um, B Key kind of apologized to Marissa and Princess, which I thought was, if that is to be true, that's great. You know, we nobody has to be friends, but at least there can be some peace, hopefully. 
a little bit more peace. Hello, ladies. Oh my God! Don't look at. Uh, hello, I got shares. Uh, stream up here. Words. Uh, the Ow. the stamp where I should look. What, Kim? These fucking burrs that you get in your yard. You oh. know what I'm talking about? I think I brought one in and I just stepped on it. Sorry. <laughs> Shit, fire. <laughs> you get yourself. Uh -oh. I'm so How'd much that tech you go, Kim? Well, here's the deal. I showed up and some person, I don't know who was back there because she's kind of, her father's famous. Uh -oh. And so she is in the very back. But the guy came out and told me that there was a woman that was doing a wolf tattoo that she kept getting up and taking a break which i understand oh yeah 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 but um she just was taking a little bit longer and i didn't uh -huh. want to be there till midnight because damn i can't miss you justin oh you're so sweet you're but i'm gonna go tomorrow at noon so we'll see well that's a better time i think you can handle more pain during the day like, when you're tired like i don't want to i don't want pain you know what i mean Right, you know I won't take a shot, but I'll get a tattoo. It's fucking healing to me for some reason. Really? You know, yes. I've heard a lot of people say that. To me, it's hell. Oh. But. It sounds like I'm going through hell when I get them. <laughs> yes, but, you know, I mean, a lot of times. Hello, Jackie. Hello, uh, Purple Knights. Um, Tara, I see you. Love my Charlie Faith. Hello, oh, everybody. Yeah, no, no, no. Thank I have you my for face now. Watch. Uh. It's kind of strange how the pain of a oh, tattoo feels good. I'm very what proud of you, you guys. Are What's that? I What'd you do, nothing. honey? What'd I do? No, she said, oh, my gosh, I did it. I did it. I just wanted oh. to be. I have a quick question, y'all. Uh, where should I go look on the timestamp on Cher's live that she just ended so we can get the information that everybody's wanting? Yeah, I'd like to find I got out it queued up on the phone. On what I was going to talk about today. So what timestamp should I pass it forward to? Let's let's see what the chat Pass forward to on Thanks. her live. I think they said the first. And then I'll play it. Thirteen minutes, or the first, or the last. In the beginning. Last fifteen minutes. Okay. Interesting. Sounds like she well, might have not said anything. She just gave some information and quit her live. I don't know. That? I didn't watch. Well, she said she was calling TBI. How do you pronounce your name again? I N G E. Inga. Inga, Inga. Inga. Yeah. Inga. My full name will probably come to Ingeberg is my yes. full first name. Gotcha. Ingeberg? Mark I love that. Ingeberg is my first name. My grandma's German. I was born on her birthday as the best present she ever received, she said. No, so I am a namesake and, and I have my saying. dad's mother's middle. That's awesome. right. So, uh, and, Inga you know, so. Did and the guy that got busted for the child. Um. Okay. So the live. Okay. So. Um, hang on. Let me pull my earbuds out. And shut the Bluetooth off, because then the mic might work. Okay, in the bird. Okay. There you go. Can you guys hear that? For a couple hours or a day, maybe a week, and it goes away. You're fine for months. I don't know what he's talking about. <clears throat> so what are, what are they talking about? Did Dawn or somebody confess? It's the last 15 minutes. And then I got taken. Two hours and 22 minutes is the total. Okay, this should be it right here. There's 22 minutes. Not really a fair Can you guys hear that? I can my own self pity. Long time. I was dating a girl online, and uh, I knew that there was going to be no future. So, I mean, that was kind of that was good for me, I think. 
you guys it can... allowed me to have format. Without having to actually have someone, you know, commit their life to taking care of me again. But then along came Cher. Yeah. Went right out the window, boy. I'm so glad she's here. I'm such a lucky man. She is amazing. Ingrid, uh, toward a little bit more toward the end. You think she's... That's what, okay. Thank you, make people smile. If you guys will um, hit the thumbs up, I would greatly appreciate it as I'm trying to grow the channel and it really, really helps me. I greatly, greatly appreciate it. I deleted it and I don't know the creator. Sorry. Oh, Jack, it must be talking about something else. It's coming soon. You'll be able to hear it. There's like only yet. 11 minutes left. Okay. She said you'll be able to hear him yelling in the background. Right. Then uh, I don't think anyone's gonna want to help help them anymore. Thank you guys, appreciate it. <laughs> they forget Summer's birthday again. Oh, Robin. I'm sure she will, Patricia. Um, well, I'm a stepfather. Guys, thank you for joining. Sure. Wonderful kids. But no, I never had any children of my own. I always pick the wrong women. No, we just pick the wrong men. Sorry, sir. That's right. Uh, true crime obsession. Love you, too. You know, I was almost beat to death in 2012 by my ex. He beat me for over 30 minutes, and I wasn't yeah, giving up. I had goals. <laughs> That's right. We're listening to just uh, just the last few minutes of Shares Live. They said um, Candace kind of told something really bad, but it's not a confession, but it's enough for Cher to be disgusted and to call TBI. Oh. Thank you, little bear. It's been a long time, but whenever I drink, I have oh, it's getting okay. louder. Thank you, sinful butterfly. Thank you, that's what she said. I agree, they do need rehab. Thank you, Tabby. Oh, thank you, Loretta. Thank you, Tabitha. Oh, I hate Candace. Yes, I got that. Um, Alcoholic, but not in the sense that I always needed a drink. But mm -hmm. whenever I would drink, I would drink way too much. I just, I just kept, I keep going and going and going until I ran out of money or the bar closed or whatever. They're on Cher's channel. You He's can on hear the phone with you her in the background, in the bedroom. Well, that. Yeah. You can hear it a little bit. Drink. Yeah, I don't like weed high. I really don't. I don't like that. When you turn your head, it's, it's that stroby stutter thing. Lightweight. I don't like that. <laughs> Sorry. I don't like cotton mouth either. Drink some water. Fix my cotton mouth. I love you too, honey. There is a fire pit. Yeah, she is, Miss Robin. <laughs> Sounds like she's wrapping up. You think so? I see you. Okay. You, panic attack, you know, I almost had a panic, panic attack. The first time I, I hit Shara's vape, I started sucking and I didn't feel anything. Yeah, so right. I just kept sucking. And I did a blinker. And, oh, yeah. All right, baby. Go call TBI immediately. So 
we need to end this immediately. Okay. So maybe it was in the beginning. Please do not invite them to Canada, Persian. Uh, I don't want them anywhere. She told me I need to dye my hair back, by the way. No, she was very polite to me. They apologized to me. Don felt horrible. And um, they, they called to apologize. She, Candace, um, was very, very pleasant tonight. And um, they both apologized. Mm -hmm. They asked me would I stop working with Reverend Donna and come to the good side. And um, I, uh, you know, I apologize for the graphic stuff that I've been, been sharing. And um, nope, they're not arguing. They're getting along great now. I mean, <clears throat> they, I'm so upset right now. I can't believe they oh, said you guys that. should see her face. Wow. Hold on. Just wait. Let's listen. Yeah, I think you could hear it. Yes, you're very, very upset. And we've got to tell TBI before we put it public. That's not good. They didn't confess. I'll give you guys that much. They didn't confess to doing anything. But it's it's not good. I'm godsmacked right now. If Don and Candace are playing a game. Yep. They have to be. This is their uh, MO. I hope not. Because TikTok, Don. TikTok. Time's ticking. Okay. Just to show you what I got. Yeah. Yeah. My insides are shaking. My hand was shaking down there. Yeah, she was just going nuts here. So yeah, we're gonna call. I believe I heard what I just heard. Like you're driving eleven hundred and some people crazy. She's got a bunch of voice memos she recorded. <laughs> You know, I would think she Sharon up has... her phone to the screen. One of these voice memos. And there's a has shit ton. Has something super sick on it from Dawn. Super sick. Super, super sick. What does it have? It, she's showing all the. Yeah, you know, yeah, I'll pause it real quick. Um, yep, it's ending in like a, a couple of seconds. It'll be over. But she's holding her phone up to the screen. So you can see where it looks like, you know, uh, lines where you leave a voice message. And there's a shit ton of them. And they're all sick in nature from dawn, she said. And she's holding that up. Everybody can go voices behind the wall. Look at the end and you'll see it. That's what I'm looking at on my phone right now. You guys are teaching me well how to work two devices. And I thank you guys for it. <sighs> because I care about summer. You know, yeah. I have, my brother was murdered in 16, and my nephew just this past July in Tucson. So, I, and they're both unsolved. So, so I'm so sorry. These cases mean something to me and my soul. You know, I want to sure. help others because my family will probably never get justice. Yeah. So. You guys give me hope. You know, I lost my mom 20 years ago. Her birthday was the 28th. And you guys got me through that day with your lives. I didn't oh, break down once. That's and awesome. what they did with this baby is mm -hmm. bullshit. You, yeah, there's child predators everywhere. But those parents did something. Candace hurt that baby. I don't care what anybody says. <laughs> Them boys are better off where they're not at right now. Yes, so yes, those... let me finish playing this. Because she's, you know, she backs up just now and she pulls her phone away. And um, I shook like that with anger and scaredness because the uncertainty with my brother. Mm -hmm. He shot me twice in the head in his home. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. So but anyway, last I didn't mean to break down. But no, uh, no, you're fine. Last well, I don't know night, what your channel struck for playing this, but you know, fair use, right? Disclaimer, no, it, here it, we go. It won't for get... educational purposes. So let me push play again and then finish it out. And then um I'm just gonna sit back and listen and then um Okay, go ahead. Go yeah, ahead. 
So I think the phone call actually probably started in the beginning and she excused herself. Yeah, she's going to show me and then we're going to figure out everything. And then once TBI has it, we will let all of you know. Sorry, we got to do it that way, but it's it's the right thing to do. Yeah. And yeah, don't want to leave you guys on a cliffhanger, but got no choice. But all right. Thank you all so much for coming. And uh, yeah, stay tuned. And as soon as uh, we can, we will be letting you know. But uh, yeah, love you. Take care. And we'll see you on the next slide. Later, guys. That's it. And then you come up next. Your beautiful channel. <laughs> oh, thank you. So, um, uh, <clears throat> so I was talking to Marissa earlier. And um, I, uh, I do a few different jobs, I guess you could say, in my personal life. But um, I do wholesale for um, a company as well. And one of my drivers, um, I just found out literally while I was on the live with Marissa him and his wife was murdered last night. Oh my God. Oh, oh no. they're like oh. mid mid twenties at best. Oh, they still had a life to live. Mm -hmm. So, so my young kid. Forever young, young kid. right? Yeah. I hate to say those words, but you know. Yeah. That's what comes to mind when I think a Rod Stewart song, you know? Yeah. So I'm trying to find out more information. Um, oh. I feel you, Black Lab. I feel you. I don't, I mean. Wow. They were murdered in their bed. I, in their home. <gasps> in their home. God. These it's children and these people is not okay. Um, you guys need to check out uh, Struggles Jennings. Uh, he's a grandchild of Waylon Jennings, and he does a song with uh, Caitlin Curtis is her name. She does the hook, God, We Need You Now. Beautiful uh -huh. song. Beautiful song. When you get a chance, check him out. He's got, uh, you know, the story to tell, and... um. That song really gets to me because, you know, who's protecting the children, he says, you know. He mm -hmm. says, I'm, I'm dying on my feet. You know, it's a good song. It's beautiful. Yeah. I mean, I'll pull it up here in a little bit and play it. But um, yeah. I wanted to sing with Molly today. I'm not good, a singer. But shit, that was a freaking party. And yeah. I, thought, I don't get paid until Thursday. So I can't do donations, but I'm. Definitely doing a big one in Summer's name. Yeah, you're fine. Honey. We appreciate you. We just appreciate Friday. you being there. But um, I'm trying to find out more. I don't. I don't think. I mean, nobody generally just comes into your home and murders two no. people without a cause. Yeah. Uh, I saw this kid at least once a week. Wow, yeah. they were just so, starting out, man. So it's uh, usually twice a week, but I was shocked when I got a call. Yeah, I'm nervous about my cardiac rehab on Thursday. You know, I yeah. have no idea what's in store, you know, but. Yeah. You know, when um, you get that kind of news, it just rips through you. Yeah. I dropped my phone mm -hmm. when I got the call from my sister about my brother, and I almost passed out. I really did. I found a heart-shaped rock that day and a beautiful osprey hawk feather here. And now every time I see a heart rock, I pick it up and take it home. And every time I find a beautiful feather, I pick it up and say, thank you, brother. I see a butterfly. I say, thank you, mom. You okay. know, and it's just <clears> little <throat> signs that they're sending us, you know, that they're still yeah. there. Yes. Okay. All right. Um, I'm think interested I in your new found, story. I think I just found out about. Let me see here. 
I know this scanner has people on it, and it's been going up since I've been on. Yes, an arrest has been made in the shooting in Blank County. Uh, Sheriff Blank says the shooting happened last night in the Blank Road area and left two people dead, according to the County Sheriff Department. Carl Blaine, oh, I don't want to dox him. Uh, Fayetteville has been charged. Holy shit. Uh, is this someone you know? Who is this creep? And why? People have no souls. We called Soulless. him. We called him. We called him Jimmy. No, this is the guy that killed these two innocent people. Oh, shit, I just dropped my phone. I'm so fucking mad right now. Look at this bastard who killed him. What a creep. Gosh. Oh, he did it? Allegedly? I'm not saying allegedly for this bastard. Okay. It's your channel, son. <laughs> I don't mean that. Just re son. Yeah, you're good. Term disrespectfully. I got a son your age. He's 37. Going to be 38 in March. <laughs> so, yeah. All Why his friends I called son. Do that? Oh my goodness! He, he see he looks much older than than they are, right? Yeah, wow. he's much older. But look at his his eyes make creep me out. Oh my goodness! Why does someone take the life of another? I don't understand. Control power. No, Miss Robin, I do not know the Envy, murder. Envy, jealousy. No. It's the you know sin, seven deadly. You know, I don't envy <coughs> anybody. Uh, I yeah. think we're all someone who doesn't have a human heart. Being. Yeah, and a conscience. Yeah. There's only three things in life I feared. My mother, a bullet, and God. My mother's passed away. I still don't fear a bullet, and God is my number one fear now. I don't mm -hmm. want him to take me out of the game. He hasn't taken me yet because he has greater... Goods for me to finish. Oh, I agree, God. Punky. With all the stupid crap I did, I should not be walking right now. <laughs> so let me knock on my head, as my grandpa used to say, and knock on wood, right? Yeah. Hey, <laughs> Tabitha, I agree. Uh, he has a blank stare in his eyes. It, it does seem crazy. Um, like a stare Don gave Molly. Yes. Yes, it has. Empty. Soulless. Yeah. Succubus of a man, just a woman doesn't have to be a succubus, but a man can be too, you yeah. know. Yeah, um, so today we're going, I want to do a uh, a uh, a lot or a uh, of a baby that I was reading, um. Good Lord, what a day, I'm telling you, people. He's a beautiful baby. You just never know. You just never know. Um, I wanted to show you a story of a... Um, a, it's kind of a bizarre story, you know. The... Uh, you think um, hold on one second <clears throat> okay you know we think of child protective services as protecting our kids right this Ohio newborn dies in social services care uh, birth mom says he was thriving at his checkup Look at this handsome little baby. Isn't he precious? Yes. Gosh. And um, it says authorities in Athens County, Ohio, are investigating how a baby died 
when in the care of Athen County's Children's Services. The baby, Logan Dollison, was born on December 19th. When the baby's mother, Lindsay Householder, was hospitalized, Logan was placed in the foster family and subsequently died on January 7th. A cause of death has not been released by the coroner, but the infant's faith is raising a lot of questions. Householder, 30, told NBC4 that Logan was thriving during doctor checkups and supervised visits and that she had learned about hospitalization via text the night before he died. Can you imagine? Yeah. I was told he was at the hospital in Columbia or in Columbus, but I was under a snow emergency. She tells the situation. I couldn't make it. Yeah. I found a way, my opinion, but it's unclear why Logan was taken into foster care. Householder tells NBC4 and uh, WKBN TV that she was unaware she was pregnant until she went into labor. Logan's father, William Dollison, told the station that he had other children taken away by children's services that he had been fighting to get back. Athens County Children's Services declined to disclose details of Logan's case. The case file remains sealed. Now Logan's, uh, now Logan's family is struggling to come to terms with his death. They are supposed to be protecting my kids but they just provided that they can't, or they just proved that they can't. Logan's father, William Dollinson, told WKBN-TV, they let my kid die, and they don't have no explanation, no nothing for it. The Athens County Sheriff's Office had opened an investigation into the newborn's deaths, no arrest had been made in the case, and no suspects have been publicly named. This is an open investigation, Captain Brian Cooper of the Sheriff's Office told reporters on Wednesday. According to NBC4, it's as though investigators, investigation, all resources that we can put forward to determine the death of Logan. And the source is people. Dot com. What do you guys think about this? I mean, do you think, I mean, obviously it needs to be um, investigated, right? But, um, you know, I mean, do, was this, you, do you think this kid was in, Yes, I agree. I'll take any baby that get me. <laughs> you know, it bothers me when the biological parents get upset. And here's why. What did mm -hmm. you do to get your baby taken away? Your baby should have never been in the first damn place. Yes. She said she didn't know she was pregnant. Yes. And then you won't go to the hospital because you're under a snowstorm warning? Yes. Or I don't know. My ass is getting in my car and I'm going to spin and I'm going to crash okay. and then I'm going to ask the officer to get me to a hospital. Yes. These parents. Okay. 10 minutes early, guys. Um, like, I don't know why anybody would want to have the most beautiful girl. little boy, our most yeah. beautiful little girl, and yeah. they totally just mess it up. Just give that baby to somebody. That wants a baby that cannot have one. You know, yes. my daughter really wants to adopt. Yes. My daughter, she will never have a baby. My daughter's a lesbian and, and yes. I absolutely support that baby, but she's ready to adopt. Give it mm -hmm. to someone that wants a baby. They're yeah. precious. It's, it's the closest thing to God you'll ever get on earth. Absolutely. Absolutely. You know, I mean, it took us two years to have kids and 
tens upon tens upon tens of thousands of dollars. Um, a lot of money. Plus, we had to pay more because, you know, the surrogate we chose was in Hawaii. And uh, she was the one we just connected with the most. So... You know, and then after that, um, you know, we've done our home study, um, which is where we can have foster kids. And obviously we pass that and everything. But I have a real problem, a real problem with the foster care system. I have a big problem with it after it's set up. You know, when we was having our home study, I know, I knew the lady who did our home study, you know, I mean, I don't know her as in like a really personal, but I know her socially, you know what I mean? And, you know, we were sitting down at the table and they said, you know, when you get these kids, you know, if you want to go get their hair cut, you know, I need you to call me so we can call the parents to see if they'll approve. Excuse me? No. These, these kids kept their, you know, or sorry, these parents kept their kids in dog crates and abuse them and just look at summer wells and the kids there i mean look how those kids lived they never knew what a clean house looked like they never knew what a clean house fresh clean sheets on their bed you know you know when it's like you remember when you was a kid and like your mom would uh get towels out of the dryer or fresh clothes or something and throw it on top of you when you was getting ready to fold them kim yep you know I what do. i mean mm -hmm. and that was hold on one second yes i just need to step out one second okay <coughs> excuse me sorry Um, sorry, I got to grease that door. <laughs> I, I've got to have it fixed. That's my kids come. It's like, Rrr! ever since we took the door off, I think it's the hinge or something. Um, but you know how like you had, it's such a, a wholesome feel. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And that's what every kid should have. I really believe that every kid should have that wholesomeness. And, you know, Summer and these kids don't get this. And it really breaks my heart. And I often wonder how many people that are grown up now that are in their 40s or 50s, it doesn't even matter how old you are, and they can look back and say, I am Summer. I am, you know, a child that has been, had lived like that, who never experienced the wholeness of a family, the wholeness of love. Yes. And then the cycle repeats itself because they don't know any better or how many people come out of it. Exactly. And. Hey, Taco Tuesday. Um. I don't know. You know, some kids don't make it out alive. And there's a lot more kids who don't make it out alive than we know. Some that are never reported. Yeah. Never reported. So. And think about the ones that don't get any attention at all. And. Mm -hmm. No one fights for them. They're left alone. Yes. And that bothers me. 
Um, this was, uh, uh, Justice, is this the report today? Uh, this is from just a couple days ago. Yeah, just a couple days ago. Um, let me check. When was this? It was... I mean, this baby was born just right before Christmas. January 28th. So what? Uh, yeah, a couple of days ago. And the parents were in their 30s. And you know damn well you know right from wrong. Yes. Absolutely. Tara, it is, it's very possible the baby could have SIDS. And let me tell you... SIDS is like every parent's worst nightmare, you know, as, as a kid or, you know, when you have newborns, it's every parent's worst nightmare. I was so psycho about it that I had a, like, it was a monitor under their mattress that done micro movements. It knew um, and then because I go overboard in anything I do, I don't know. About it, so. Um, I had this little thing that clipped to their diaper. It's called a, I think it's called a bamboo, like B-A-M-B-O, something like that. Um, and it clips to their diaper and it does micro movements too. And. Um, you know, it's, uh, it, it, if like they, you had a two tear, good. Um, if they stop, you know, breathing or anything like that, it vibrates, you know, cause SIDS, a lot of people think that they just, um, they just forget to breathe more or less. Yeah, Kim, can, oh, I think she was, maybe she was opening up something. I don't know. Um, but, uh, sorry, I get thrown off track very easy. <laughs> um, but when they, you know, if they forget to breathe, it vibrates and they go, <gasps> you know, like that. I still am. My boys are 31 and 26. Glory. I, you know what, I will always be, as long as I have breath and mind, I will always be that parent, yeah, too. But, you know, it gave me a little bit of, no, Don, you're fine, honey. Um, it gave me a little bit of comfort, or gave me a lot of comfort, actually. But one night, um, Oh, thank you, Cassandra. You're very kind. Thank you. Um, hold on. Donwell said Cher said something upsetting. She ended her live to call TBA. Yeah, Cassie, we was just uh, talking about that a few minutes ago. But, yeah, thank you, Lori. Um, but, you know, it, it does give you a little bit. It gives you a lot of comfort. And one night one of mine went off. It went off on the boy on one of my boys and it scared me to death, but I think he had just twisted it the wrong way. Yeah. Did yours go off Karen when you had his, uh, firefighter. I, Oh, I can put my, thank you. Firefighter. You're very kind. Um, yeah, I haven't, I'm not able to get members yet. I still have to work on my hours, which I'm almost there. Um, so yeah, we'll have members eventually. Oh, Navy mom, you're a twin. My mom's a twin. She's the evil one. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> she's, she's not, but so my mom and my dad, just and my daughter was screaming. What do you mean, Karen?
Oh, you're fine, Kim. Don't worry about it. Um, where did uh, the other lady go? Did she drop off? Um, I'm a twin, and today is their birthday. Aw. Happy birthday. I'm going to identical twin. Yeah, when it goes off, like, I immediately... Justin would freak me out, too. My eldest daughter was born preemie and would quit breathing. Oh, my God. Sue Bug, I can't imagine. I am so thankful. My boys were, you know, twins. Usually, you know, it's... Um, they. You have to... They're usually born preemies, right? My twins were not born premature. In fact, she had to be, um, she, you know, her water had to be broke. So my boys, there was a little bit of a big size difference. One of my boys was born uh, five pounds, three ounces. And the other boy was born seven pounds, four ounces. Hey, Justin, I have a question. If yeah. you don't want to answer it, just say, I, I'm not going to answer it. I'm an open it. book. Tell me what you got. Okay. So I don't know how it works with, um, you know, surrogate moms. Uh -huh. But when you do this, do you, is there a, do you have a choice whether the twins develop? I don't, I, I'm completely uh, <clears throat> stupid to this. Well, let me, I'll tell you my story. So, um, when we went to look for a surrogate mother, hold on, I got a cough. Sorry. It's still that COVID, you know, shit in your throat. Um, yes, I was very lucky, Lori, uh, for the size of my, it was four pounds, six ounces. Oh. Um, so we looked at a few different surrogates. One was in, um, California, one was in Pennsylvania, one was in Florida, one was in Hawaii. And we connected with the, um, the one in Hawaii because she was, I felt like she was more like us. She was a lot more chill, <laughs> you know, which I kind of liked. I really appreciated. Um, and, um, so what happens was, you know, you obviously there's a team of lawyers. There is um, doctors and everything involved. And you, um, you have, uh, you know, I have to get tested for every disease under the planet. So does my husband. Um, he's, he was the donor, um, but still we're married, you know, I had to get tested for everything the same as he did. So, you know, they freeze your semen, um, and then they check you, they check the semen again after six months because some things can, it takes time. And then after that clears, then you're ready to go through the fertilization. So what they do is um, right when like the ovulation and stuff happens, the um, that's when the doctor can literally see... Um, how many eggs that they can fertilize. Um, and uh, one time I think he fertilized three eggs. The next time it was like two eggs. So when they fertilize three eggs, you have a chance of triplets. You have a really good chance of triplets. And then um, we had our last chance 
of getting pregnant. Last chance. And you're very discouraged. Very discouraged. And so um, we went we went to Hawaii. It was our last time and we were just kind of waiting. And uh, no, we no, I take that back. We were, we got a phone call and she said it it didn't take the last one. It didn't take. So we had nothing left. There was no pregnancy. And then, you know, I was hysterical. Um, and then I said, can we do it on our own? And, and I meant not like, like normally we do it on our own, but I bought a, um, it is heartbreaking. I see you. It's very high. Um, I bought a kit from out of the country that you cannot buy in the United States. And I did all kinds of reading. And I never knew that there was so much complications with females in my life. <laughs> you guys are complicated. Um and we went to Hawaii. We flew into Hawaii and we said, we're going to try this. So every day um, for about five days straight, um, we were at a hotel. Our surrogate mother would pull up to the hotel door and I would get my, I would get a cup put it under my arm, run it, run it, run it, run it down to the the bottom of the hotel. And she drove home like it was stolen. <laughs> it may be a little TMI, but, you know, we got to get to know each other quick. It's not our first date here, right? You know me. From Texas. <laughs> so um, then... Um, after about, you know, five days or so, um, we, uh, it I, I really feel like the day she got pregnant, we, uh, we was, we were on four wheelers and they, uh, <laughs> thank you, coexist, you're very kind. Um, we was in Hawaii, they, um, recorded, they video the movie, they shot the movie, uh, what the hell is it? Jurassic Park. You know, you know, Jurassic Park. They that's where they filmed it. One of the Jurassic Parks, anyways. And we were taking a tour on that in this magnificent place. We had been to Hawaii many times, but it was a very bumpy, 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 you know, going through the Hawaiian mountains and stuff. Yes, Justice Janie. Molly and I are actually a lot. <laughs> we we have a lot in common actually i think um the bathroom with the turkey baster yeah you know it's it's pretty calm it's pretty similar you know it's just a much smaller turkey baster <laughs> so um we were writing in that and my husband he said I don't think I can do it today. He said, I, from that bumpy ride, I think the little swimmer's tails are <laughs> fell off. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, and I'm like, you're done it. You know, that's, I'm like, you're like, you're going to do it and you're going to do it as soon as we get back. <laughs> yes. Yes. So we did it and we had no fertility doctors after that. Um, we had nothing except our kit that I bought. And then about six weeks later, um, maybe it was, I knew she was, well, I don't, I'll have to look in my journal. I have a huge journal. Um, but then I, I find out she's pregnant and then I'm just over the freaking moon excited.
How did you find out? Did she call you and say, sit down? She, she called me and uh, told me that she was pregnant and I was over the moon, over the moon. And then she said, you know, I'm going to go get my first ultrasound, you know? And I was so excited that day whenever the ultrasound comes and you know, my fertility doctor, who I literally paid a lot of money to for no results whatsoever. Um, he tried. I'm not gonna not gonna knock him or anything. He's a great doctor. Um, it just didn't work for us. Um, you know, we told him, and he's like, "Huh?" <laughs> you know? And um, so. She goes to get her ultrasound and she says, I'm at work. And she's like, did you see the picture on the ultrasound I sent you? And I said, no, no, no. I thought something was wrong. Like my heart stopped. Mm. And I was like, no, is something wrong with the baby? And she said, no. No. There's nothing wrong with the babies. <laughs> you just died, didn't you? You were like, holy happiest, shit, what'd you say? Happiest day of my life. Happiest day of my life. That and the day they were born. And every day since, really. W- were you allowed to be in the delivery room when they were born or no? Um, I was not allowed to be in the delivery room. Um, Paul was, but um, I got to, as soon as the babies were born, like they got to, they got to take her back and then I got to be with them instantly. So, yeah. And then one of my sons um, pissed on me right in my face. <laughs> As soon as he was born. (laughs) Is that the Henri one? Yeah. (laughs) Okay. I had never, like, I don't, I I hadn't really ever changed a newborn's diaper, but you learn real quick. You learn real quick. Um, It was just so funny. Funniest thing. Now they have those little tents to go over them so they don't pee on you. Yeah, the little, yeah, the little PPTPs is what they're called. Yeah. So I had funny. everything. I had everything. Um, but uh, what was your, Kim, what was your question about that? Did I answer it? Yes, you did. Just, because I was wondering, you know, if when they did the, you know, the implant of the eggs, mm-hmm. you know, I knew that one mom had like, what did she have? Like eight children that one time. Yes. I'm talking about, oh my God. Octo mom or something like that. Yes. So I was like, well, if you're, if they implant it in you, you don't have a choice, you know, how many babies you'll end up with, you know? And I just thought, did you want twins? Were you expecting twins? And now that I know your story, that's amazing. God gave you two precious, precious, precious babies. They, they literally, I was like, I was raised by my grandmother. Um, I'll get to that story one day, but um, she was my best friend, like my best friend in the entire world. And I, I literally prayed to God every single day. God, let me have, let me have kids before something happens to her. That was just my prayer. And because I just couldn't, couldn't imagine, you know, not having kids and losing her. And God answered my prayer and I'm very thankful she got to meet them and she died warmly in her bed um, at our house at um, when they were three months old. My boys were three months old when she passed. So, and I bet you, she was just so proud of you. She was, she was, but, um, now will you do it again? Oh my God. Absolutely. Well, I like, would I do it over or will I do it again? No. Will you do it again? They're older now. 
They're not babies. They're going to school. I don't know. Like, if I do it, if I do anything again, I will do um, surrogacy, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, not surrogacy, not surrogacy, sorry. I'll do, um, my kids, one second, please. Hi, everyone in chat. No, that marble guy is still there. I want to take his job, damn it. Well, no, I, um, I want to go to Hawkins again. I'll do um, just regular adoption. Um, and the reason is... Uh, like the boys are just getting big enough now where like I can, they can travel and enjoy it. You know what I mean? And I really want to enjoy that. So I don't want to go like, I love the baby stage. You know what I mean? I love it, but I get really nervous traveling with babies and stuff, mm -hmm. even though I did it, I traveled, but it's just, you know, the it's world scary. is a bunch crazier. Hey, somebody come up and talk for five minutes with Kim. <laughs> <laughs> come on. I need somebody. Um, come on, Tara. Come Tara, on, somebody. Life. Oh, there's Tara. I don't know where the other lady went. Hey, Tara. Uh, gotta, come on, Tara. I just have to. Um, Tara, oh, there's Tara. I don't Only, know where the other let me lady mute. Went. Hey, Tara. Okay, let me see. There's Karen Fontana. Uh, Ing, uh, Ingi, it says device not connected, honey. I don't I know what it. it's. That's why it did Karen's last night. Hey, Karen. Hi. Hi, guys. Hi, Is Karen. Hi, Kim. Oh, you're very sweet, Noble. Thank you. I'll be right back. Just give me a couple minutes okay i'm sorry don't bring food <laughs> oh, i'm not bringing food i'm not bringing food i promise okay good i eat too much with molly i mean that's all i, I do is eat god i know we're all gonna gain weight with molly <laughs> oh hold on there's more people down here oh okay i can add i didn't know that they there it was the bottom screen i didn't know how long they hi everybody hold hi on. hi hi that was fast <laughs> how is everybody did I add him? I'm good. How are you? Yes, I was here. I'm here. How you hear me? Your husband, Karen. Yes. He's doing okay. good. He um went to bed. Oh, today was a good day. We actually he ate a big dinner. That's excellent. That's I've been cool. praying for him and I've been praying for you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, no. I expect you to call me. You can call me anytime. Oh yes, I got your uh thing. I probably will reach out. I just realized um in ch in Molly's chat there's a girl uh Joanne Joe Popowick, if I'm saying it correctly, yeah. she lives like 15 minutes from my house. I have found so many people that says, I'm in Arlington. I'm in Irving. I'm thinking, my goodness, you're right here. Yeah, which should be really nice because, like I said to her, if I can get somebody to sit with my husband, maybe I can go have a, a cup of coffee with her. Well, you should. Yeah, Are, that would be you, really nice. Is it cold outside? So? Uh, yeah. Oh, I got breaking news. What? It's nothing important. Oh. But I have a winter weather warning in Dallas, Texas. I am so happy. Dude, we're getting ready up here in Indiana. We're getting, we're supposedly, supposedly now, mm -hmm. we're supposedly getting 10 inches of snow. Yeah, oh, we're getting it. Yeah, well, you, Kim, I, could I please go to, you can come to my house. <laughs> um, we're supposed to get like a foot on Friday. I was well, so supposed, to, supposed to start Tuesday, mm -hmm. Tuesday night. But we have about 10 inches now. Oh, my God. Well, you can keep that up there. I don't want it. Yeah, we I got know. Like a, we got like like two. Like right now, it's almost. It, well, when it first came down, it was like two inches. Mm -hmm. But it's like almost melted away. Mm -hmm. But we're getting. But like everybody's freaking out. Like Walmart is cleared. Everything is gone. <laughs> and, of course, I gotta go, and of course, there's nothing in my refrigerator and I got to go to the store tomorrow because I get my check tomorrow. 
Mm-hmm. And you, everybody knows that when you're on disability, the last week is the roughest week. Yeah. Everybody knows. Yeah. And I have, to I get have some a child that eats me out of house mm-hmm. and home. Yeah. I have to get some groceries myself, but um, what you call it? Uh, I got to go. I'm going to try to go tomorrow. I don't know if I can see how he feels. But um, and then Wednesday, we got the uh, oncologist. I just can't wait to see the oncologist to see what he says, you know. So yeah. it looks like he put on a little weight. So that's really good. I don't have a, um, a scale in my house because I don't like to weigh myself. <laughs> you oh. know, I hate I hate going to the doctor because I'm I have this problem. It's called I'm borderline anorexic. Oh, OK. And when um, I get to 120 pounds, it's a trigger mm-hmm. in my head. Oh, okay. And then mm-hmm. instantly, as soon as I see that number, mm-hmm. I go freaking out yeah. and I start with myself. Yeah. Oh, no. Yeah, I'm five. I one, so I like to stay between um, 107 to 115. Anything over that, I freak out. How tall are you? Five one. I'm five two. Okay. Yeah. Girls. But yeah. I'm I'm not I know this is like TMI, but I'm big chested. Okay. Huge. Oh so you okay. got big knockers. Yeah. Yeah, I'm thirty six triple D. Oh my god. Yeah. And you're five That's two? Right you're five two? Wow. I'm five two. Yeah. Yeah. Well you got a lot of weight right there. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you, <laughs> see my have those over. you know, you see the about? pictures. My babies are the ones that, that did it to me. Those three right there are the ones who did it to me. Oh, uh, no, I'm really small frame, so I'm like, I look, I'm really tiny, tiny. So, like, at a at 107 pounds, I'm like a size two, but at 115, I'm a size four. So, yeah, mm-hmm. okay, hold my, on, guys. I'm gonna try sorry. to do something here. Hold on one second. Okay. My ex husband used to call me. He used to say, "I can, I can hula hoop with it. I can hula hoop with a Cheerio." <laughs> <laughs> well, see, even before I even had my kids, I was a C. Before I even had my kids. Oh wow! Right. And then I kept on going up, and that you know how usually when you have kids, you you go down. Yeah. Once you had the child, I didn't. I just kept on going. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was. I'm most my life. I'm like 110 pounds. Yeah. I was a D, mm-hmm. and then after my kids, I went down to a C. It was the best Christmas present ever. Yeah, I was my a C and went to a B. <laughs> my mom said I stole them from her because when she had me, and my brother, once mm-hmm. I was born, she went down to an A. And she was a B, she was a C, and she went down to an A after I was born. She mm-hmm. said I stole all of her boobs. <laughs> my my daughter is is big big chester. Oh, hold on. You know that's a fucking lie. No, no. Trigger word. Well, whatever. And you know, like I said, that's a word. You're supposed to be a good. Why are you talking like that? And quit calling me a bitch. I'm gonna tell you that right now. No, you you really quit. Is that how you talk to people? And that's why you know that's why you're covering Candace's ass. It's because no other woman would. Mm. Yeah, they're drinking. Oh I Lord! Was, I'm. Oh, hold on, hold on, life, hold on. I'm like put up with you calling them the names that you probably call her. Nigger, man. Yeah, nigger. Whatever. This is, this is exactly why you look guilty, Donald. This is why you look guilty. Right here. This is why you look guilty. You guys weren't out hanging up flyers. You were not freaking up for the bell boys going up. I do. I do know. I'm on the phone with you every day. What the hell are you talking about? You fucker. Whatever. Oh, he deserves his ass beat. He's disgusting. What an asshole. If my kid was missing, I would not be sitting on people's panel. 
I'd be looking for my son, my kid, my child. That's for sure. Yeah, exactly. I wouldn't be sitting there going, "Oh, be my friend," and this and that. Let me tell you, when my son, I'm when gonna rewind the call. Son, I'm going to rewind this. What's okay. going on? Kim is rewinding a, a call that uh, Don is doing, and he sounds like he's drunk. And you know what, Justin? He has got some really foul language in here, and he's uh -huh. got some really nasty things that you should not ever say. Uh huh. And I just want to make sure people know that he's got some language that is just not. Not so trigger warning. Viewer discretion yes. is advised. Absolutely. He because called back him. Oh, you know, it's getting close to the seventh. He's mm -hmm. losing his yep. mind. I'm yep. going to try to go back and start it from when he called. Hold on one sec. I'll be right back. Yep. Okay. I love your pug. You know, Thank you. Uh, I had to that's what I had to do. I had to take her out to use the bathroom. Um, Justin, it's okay that we do that, pick. right? You won't get in trouble, correct? No, I'm not monetized. Okay, so. okay I just wanted to make I sure. I got a okay, picture of somebody. Look, this is one of my puppy dogs. Aw. Aw. That's a full cool butter chihuahua. And then yeah. this is his son. One of his sons. Aw. He's Jack Russell. Jack Russell and Chihuahua mix. <laughs> this is Buddy. Uh, yeah. Well, this is the last of my cigarettes, and then I go to vaping. <clears throat> oh, you should do it in between. You're going to choke. No, I'm doing it. I made up my mind uh, last night. I said, that's it. The last pack of cigarettes. And I have my vape. Well, I did vape at one time, but doing it. That's it. Done. Come here, Jim. But, um, you know, Karen, also, just maybe you should just vape a little bit after that because you are going through a very stressful time. Oh, he's pissed over Don Sheffrey. No, no, I am. No, I'm. I'm the cigarettes. I'm done, but I'm gonna vape. That's it. You you'll know, feel I'm not... a lot. You'll feel a lot better. Yeah. Okay. I'm sorry. Yeah. No, Get I can't. Down. I can't just quit it and that's it. No, I'll have a breakdown. Yeah. So I'm gonna vape. Yeah. Okay. You ready, Kim? Kim. I think she's rewinding the thing. So. <coughs> Sorry. You do know that jail detox is going to be the worst thing for him. Oh, yeah. I'd be petrified to go to jail. Been there, done that. Don't want to go back. No, <laughs> detoxing is bad. They don't, they don't really do anything for you. No. Well, like I said, I used to work for a judge, so no, I don't want to go to jail. Well, yeah. where, I, I, where I, where I worked, it was a prison, not a jail. It was a prison. He's losing it. And that's just what it is. He is literally losing his mind right now. Mm. <clears throat> you know, when I lost when I lost my son when he was three years old to CPS mm -hmm. and didn't get him back until fourteen years later. Oh my goodness. Let me tell you. It was the worst fourteen years of my life. Yeah. Because I because when especially when people come up to you and ask you like how many kids you have. Mm -hmm. yeah. And you have to explain to them hey, why on. you don't have your third, why you don't have your oldest. And it kills you. Especially yeah. when Hold you did nothing wrong. Yeah, sorry, Don. Let me, sorry to okay. interrupt you. Kim, where is it Her at? Her phone just rang. Uh, is she live? Cracking Cases is now saying they know what was said from Don Sr. on phone interview. Hmm. You ready? Yep. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Yeah, that's a Twitter guy. He ended up getting Okay, this she's answered the drama. phone. Who was that? It's somebody on I'm her camera. She just muted it. Kim. I knew the voice. It's Scott H. No. Hey guys. PG has oh, muted boy, herself and is on the phone so, right now. I so mean, it's best to get the information out. And... Oh, it's a virtuous, virtuous guy. She's gonna let go of that mute button in a minute. <clears throat> Who who's gonna let go of it? 
prayer yeah, garden. Yeah, because I guess he was up there teasing the dogs with the drum. Hush. So. This year, in like May, he got. I'm trying to find it if it is. I'll stream it. Look at him, I'm not monetized. Okay, 1330 is when he comes on. His son has got my daughter. Whose son? So you think his son's got your daughter? Don what Sheffrey. What do you think? He got busted twice. Stop. With child pornography. Over 500 images on his fucking computer. And he's mm. going to sit down there to butter my driveway and talk shit and point fingers like he's somebody. You tell that motherfucker to meet me somebody where? So I got to call Molly. Shit. So, he's a Him. I think we. Yes, let me stop it. No, you're fine. Go ahead. I can if you want. Yeah, go ahead. Is that what I'm doing? And bury her because the sorry motherfuckers like you. 
No, no. It just has information on him. You should have called TBI. You don't put it out there for everybody to fucking see, you idiot. Donald, everybody has the right to see whatever and everything. Right. So ruin the entire TBI investigation. There right? is no there is no investigation. This boy has there is not, really? This this wow, young man fucking news to me. Donald, this young man, his dad's already been questioned and cleared, and his son, they didn't even want to talk to his son because his son had an alibi. And why is the motherfucking piece of shit down there at the bottom talking to the YouTubers running my name in the mouth? He was mouth. down at the bottom talking, and he wasn't talking, and listen, Donald, he wasn't down care. there talking about you. Want. He wasn't down there talking about you. He was down there yeah, asking was. them to be quiet because his girlfriend's no, uh, eighty-year-old mother. The words that come out of his mouth because that piece of shit YouTuber J O R or whatever the fuck his name. He was John John Sherby Senior was saying that he knows that we had something to do with it. But everybody knows that. But that right his fucking big fat fucking mouth. You tell that piece of shit to meet me somewhere, and I'll meet that big fat motherfucker. Why do you want to be mean about all of this? Because why can't we work, Donald? Why can't we work together? We're why can't we work to together? It's a big fight all the way around. Both no, it's not. Here. I told you. I told you before. We could work together. We could work this no, out. No, I want a big fat motherfucker. Thank you, Tina, like so much. Down there running his big fat fucking mouth. Appreciate it. That he knows that we done something to our daughter. That war. <sighs> That motherfucker. Donald, a lot of people are thinking that you guys had something to do with your daughter because you're not yeah, coming like out and trying to change, change. Well, yeah, I do because you're not. Well, you, you're, you, do, bitch. you know, I do. I'm sorry. Well, I'm yeah, sorry. I did it. I did it, Donald. Are you kidding me, sweetie? Are you kidding me? You know better than that. I can say the same thing to you. Are you kidding? Are you kidding? You, you, you know better. And you know something? I know you love her with all your heart. I really do. And how could you say something like that? I really know that you love her with all your heart. But no, I, you know, you know how I, know, well, you know how I'm saying this, Donald? It's because no, I know that you would do anything to protect. No, 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 I'm not. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. And you, you know that's a fucking lie. This is where the word nigger comes into play. No, no. Well, whatever. And you know, like I said, that's a offensive word. You're supposed to be a Christian. Yeah, it's Why are you talking like that? And quit calling me a bitch. I'm going to tell you that right now. No, you, you're going to quit. Is that how you talk to people? And that's why, you know, that's why you're covering cancer. Thank you, Brenda, for your PayPal. No other woman would you. put up with you calling them the names <coughs> that you probably call her. Nigger, man. Yeah, no, whatever. This is, this is exactly why you look guilty, Donald. This is why you look guilty. Right here. This is why you look guilty. You, know what? you guys weren't way. out hanging up flyers. You were not freaking up for the bell boys going up. I do. I do know. I was on the phone with you every day. What the hell are you talking about? Whatever. You have no idea what I've been doing. You've been busy running your fucking mouth. Hey, motherfucker. I'm going to tell you, your old lady might suck cock and get infection up in her face, but not me. Fuck you. You're a piece of shit. You are a piece of shit, Donald Wells. A piece of shit. You know, I hope he does meet you somewhere and beat your fucking head off, you idiot. That was that. I'm sorry, but you wow. know, I wasn't about to put up no more him. That was it. He is wow. fucking mad over this man. He's pissed. Wow. He said he took my daughter. Mm. Yeah, now Don, he's back <laughs> on. So, Kim, do you think... Yeah, I agree. The N-word is unacceptable. Yes, it is. It's absolutely unacceptable. Um, and I hope he gets his ass whipped somewhere around Rogers Whipville that hears him say that because, you know, it's totally unacceptable. You know and what? You don't I, ever treat someone like that. You know what he needs is some black guys to find that him. Was, that's what I was getting ready to say, but I didn't want to. good beat down mm -hmm. one day. Yeah, right back. Word. He needs some good soap in his mouth, but make sure you bring the soap because you know there's not going to be any there. Yes. Well, that exactly. little lesbian girl of mine. That little lesbian girl of mine, she's a mixed little girl. 
Mm-hmm. And she's also that law enforcement officer. And I'd love for her to be a Hopkins County Sheriff and oh beat my the God. shit out of his ass for that. Take him out to some backcountry road and, and, beat and show him what it's him. all about. You oh, they're going to get him in jail. Oh, yeah. yeah. This is what I'm saying. Even if they didn't, even if they didn't do this to Summer, they have done nothing to help find her other than hinder themselves and make themselves look absolutely stupid. Absolutely stupid to try to get their kids back. Does he think by going on YouTube, calling people the N-word is going to help him? Hell no, it ain't going to help him. If not, he just got worse. I knew it. I told Marissa this. I said as soon as... It, it gets closer to the eighth, the seventh, the eighth. It's it's going to go down. I told her. It's going to go down. You're right, I Justin. Mean, didn't know it was her, her her own birthday. That's what the sad part was. He didn't even know it was on her own birthday. Didn't know his own birthday. Yeah. You know, I, I, I think I he's to probably going to take his life. Uh, where is he back on at? And we'll try to PG play again. He's back on. I guess Wh- whose channel was that? Swear yeah, on it. it. Well, that's where he's back on. Hold on. I'll see if I can play it from here. This case is going to blow right open very shortly, I have a feeling. I want to know why in the hell it took me a day off work, a couple hours, and I found this information, reported it to Justin. He put it out there. How in the hell does somebody in Texas find out what this man was about? <coughs> this Don Jr., Jeffrey, mm-hmm. whatever his name is. But he lives just down the fucking street from this father. Yeah. What did you really do to search for your well, daughter? He doesn't Texas, live down dude. the street, however. Oh. oh, Judy, thank you so much for your Venmo. That's very kind. I greatly, greatly appreciate it. You're very sweet. Um, yes, I will drop a link. Um, I'm going to play Prayer Garden, though. We're going to listen to it. Did anybody <laughs> else hear he had a red truck? Yes. No, oh, really? Yeah. Okay, this here junior we go. guy. That's hey, guys, Don said I, it. I'm going to mute everybody so we can play this. Okay. Okay. Josh, Josh, stop. And now the man's working again. And thank God he was working because it took him out of state. No, I don't think he's bringing anybody along. Oh, so because he was a so-called police officer, that makes him an angel, huh? It it makes him an, you know, yeah, it makes him it makes him an upstanding human being in his community. Absolutely. It All does. Right, so his son just gets off the hook just like that. No, his son ain't getting off no hook. Twice. His son is not getting off no hook. He is all for his son having twice. to pay the price for what his born. son done. Absolutely, Man, he his is. His son would be the perfect person that would take my little girl. He, well, his son is it his son the perfect person to take your daughter, or is his son the perfect person to try to pin it on? And run around the bush again because well, Donald, know. you told me I before mean, it was well, Dudley. Then you well, told well, me it was Andy across the road. Then you told I me that it was H. About Andy. You did. Yes, you did. No, not me. Yes, you not did. Me. You said no, you said, I Sissy, mean. I'm going back over there to talk to to that guy. I think he might have something to do with summer disappearance. And we don't know who got her, Sissy. And then All why then why why are you her. trying to throw this man under a bus? You know? You talk about everybody letting the law do their job, but it seems like you're not letting the law do their job. He's the one that stood down there at the bottom of my driveway and said, everybody knows that me and Candace done something with our daughter. That come out of his mouth. And and so, so, so you decided, so you decided to, to um, investigate him and his son and then, and then, and then try to get even with him by using his son in all of this. Not me. You're not listening. You run your mouth so much, you don't listen. I'm listening. See, that's why you don't catch everything, because you don't listen. Oh, I catch it, Donald. Your mind goes so fast 
and you think you listen to everybody else, but you can't hear nothing. Oh, son, I'm hearing everything. Really? Yes, I, I am. You are. Oh, you know I am. I think you owe That's why you're on the phone song. with me right now, because you know I catch it all. Why don't you put that Don Sherpy on the phone right now? Donald, I don't think Don will have a problem speaking to you at all. I don't have a problem meeting with at him all. at all. He will not have a problem speaking to you whatsoever. You know, but, you know, my question is, you know, that is not an education, you know, an educated way of handling things. I mean, you're handling things like, you well, know, some, you're doing, like you're, you're in high school. Saying, well, I have to fight fire with fire. I mean, if you're going to oh, treat, really? if we're going to fight it's like we're on a playground. You, it's okay for you. It's okay for you to fight fire with fire. But when somebody else does it, it's wrong, right? What wow. I'm saying, Donald, is no, this man ain't, this man, medical. this man That's is not, son, history. this man That's ain't calling you is. out in the middle of the street. Come on out. I'm going, you know, let's go toe to toe. Are you, ain't you guys a little tools no, for that? I'll talk to the man. I'll talk to the man. But the thing that pisses me off is he, he's sit down there and says, everybody knows that me. That seems like he was trying to point Let me, let me ask you. And trying to steer everybody away from his son. Let me, like and me. it would seem like you guys were using him to steer, um, you the focus off of you guys well, it again. Could be looked at that way. I get that. Absolutely. I'll be, fair. I'll be fair. Absolutely. And let me tell you another thing, Donald. Um, wouldn't it be better uh, to have this man as an ally, seeing that he works with the police force for all the years and everything? Wouldn't it be better? Man, he worked as a jailer for two. Let me. Years. No, Please, not no. It. He worked did in different. Donald, did I did. Yes, up, yes, did yes. He? I have searched this no, man. Yes, yes, no, I did. Thank you very much. Cool. I do my homework. I do, did I call him? Really? Did I talk to I'd him, like Donald? To see that. Yes, I did. You know. I'd like to see that. Send me the proof. I do. I do my Not homework. My number. I do my Send homework. I yeah, I it. yeah, I have your number. You know, yeah, I have your he number. Was a fucking jailer for two years. Um, can you bring Ernie up right? on the um? And you know, Ernie Shell likes and to talk to you too. Like such a dickwad if he was up in the police force. Listen, listen, it. listen, Donald. I don't believe it. Okay, would you calm down? Could you calm down? Listen, Sparky. Why don't you calm down, Donald? You've already, you know, this ain't good for your health, hon. Listen, it ain't good for your health either. Exactly, it's not I good for the same to you. And you exactly, it's not good for either one of our health. So you, you, you know, you, you know, people like you, you want to sit there and call out people can't. and say, "Oh, you're doing this. Oh my God, you're yelling or you're cussing." But it's okay for you. You sit and need Donald, to say, I'm not oh, cussing I you. Fire with fire. Am I That's cussing you? Am I cussing like you? All the other YouTubers. I'm, I'm, I'm better. Don, I'm treating you with respect PG. right now. I really okay, am. I'm trying. PG, and ask him. B, PG, ask him. Listen. PG, listen, ask him. Are you still there? Yeah, I'm here. Okay, can you calm down just long oh, enough for sure. me to ask you a question? Wouldn't it be better if you had yeah. Don Sr.? you know, as an ally instead of an enemy uh, to help us find Summer. Yeah, if he wasn't stone cold against us. I don't think he is. I, you know, I really Man, don't think he is. You know Do you what? want me to give him your number and let him, listen, Donald, is it, okay? is it okay? Is it okay to give him your number and let Can him call you? Yes, yeah, sure. I have friends in the police and I'm not going to tell you who they are or whatever, but they've come here and they've, they've talked to us. I'm not going to tell you what all they said. I'm not even going to go there because I can give a damn less what you all YouTubers think or Don Sherpy or any of them. I don't care. But I know what they've told us. We've talked to them a lot. And I could care less what any of you all think or say or whatever because I know what they've told us. I know what we've talked about and everything else, okay? And I'm sorry I even got in this conversation. I'm sorry I even said anything about Mr. Dumbass Don Sherpy or whatever. Donald, but you're still not being nice. You're still not I'm being saying. nice. You could have said, I'm sorry that I said anything about no, Mr. No, he's the one that Sherpy. was sitting down there in the bottom of our driveway talking shit. Well, you know, maybe, maybe he was upset. Maybe he was upset. He was going to shoot us. Donald, you told me that you was very upset about. You, upset about what? He didn't even have to. You told me you was very upset himself. about the Let YouTubers you also. Why did he interject himself in this situation? Why? Because, because the YouTubers were. 
The YouTubers was you causing that older yourself. woman. Can you listen to me? The YouTubers you was no causing his white. His, in this. The YouTubers was causing his girlfriend's mother That's to have bullshit. issues, and she didn't want to hear them down there That's carrying bullshit. on. That's, That's he. All he came yeah, over to ask them to. Me. He was doing you a favor. He came over there to ask no, them to leave. Wasn't. By sitting down there and saying that, oh, everybody knows that we have to do this, and we got in gunfights with our neighbor across the street, Andy, which is bullshit. That's never happened. He sat there and lied over and over and over, and he has no idea what he's talking about. So I, um, right I do not know. I do not know he said that. I do not know he said that. I'll tell him to his face. I do not know he said that, you know, I and I yeah, will not say he said it. He, d- he did say mind. that. Go back and watch the video where he met the YouTubers down there. He said they run his fucking mouth and said that we was in a gunfight with a neighbor across the street. Something to do with our daughter's disappearance. He doesn't even well, know us. Well, who told him that you were in a young gunfight, Donald? He's the one who said that. Because I know, I know that, you know, um, Jody Sue kept saying that you were up there peeking in her windows and doing all kinds of crazy yeah, things. Yeah, she's another dumb bitch. She says everybody's up to her house creeping around and all kind of shit. Man, I ain't got time to creep around and look at that fucking big fat bitch. <sighs> Who would want to fucking do that? Really? Fuck um, her. I'm not going to comment on that one because I have to agree with you there. Oh, I hope not. PG. Mm-hmm. You know, ask him ask him why he won't talk to me. They play right there. And I'm sorry, but that's what evil women do. They play that card right there. That's the one. Donald, how come that you won't that's talk to Ernie Shell? How come all you the way how come history, you will not how come you will card. not talk about how how come you that's will not talk to Ernie Shell? Because he talks to psychics. He was out there digging at the fucking racetrack like a fucking moron. He was fucking John, we were talking to Sagan too. Holy! <laughs> oh, don't hurt me! Don't hurt me! Oh my God! You were on are you live serious? tonight. Sissy, are you? There was a psychic on live tonight that said Jesus that you were Christ. talking to her, Don. So don't be bullshitting. He's fucking a bullshitter. A and you want me to invite a meth head up here to talk to me about this case when we got TBI agents, Hawkins County police, and other good people like that? But the thing about it is, but the thing about it is, Don, eleven percent of our law enforcement don't have human trafficking training. It is a fact. They have to run him off because he's a freaking moron. And you want me to talk to him? Are we really having this conversation? Yeah, we are. We are having this conversation, Don. 11% 11% of all law enforcement not, out of 2 million in the United States, only 11% not, have human trafficking and awareness training. The medium, the medium running from police. Oh, don't hurt me. I didn't do nothing. Live hey, streaming. John, that was, a, that was a sting operation, kind of like what we got on you. With psychics and shit. And you want me to talk to him? Listen, I, I, I ain't saying I want you to talk to him. That. I'm Let's saying he on. wants you to talk Let's to him. On. He's asking you to talk to him. Well, okay, Why? I'm going He's to move on. Listen, Donald. Can we, nobody. Listen, sweetie. Why? Listen, here's another question I want to ask I you that is that's so more important. This well, is, he, he gets so listen, triggered Donald, when my name is mentioned. Listen, Donald, this I is so... Here's what I want to ask you. Mary you said don't. you told her dad, Man, or your guy is... Mary, don't even go there with me. Can you just say yes or no? Do Did you tell your dad that? I know. Mary's a dumb bitch. Okay, I understand what you're. Mary's a dumb I under, Right, I, I understand. Bitch. I understand, Donald, but. Don't was, go there with me, sissy. Okay, the accusation that she made, Happy, though, is it true? What your fucking name is. What is your fucking name? Sissy, hun, and that's what you need no, to be calling me. No, me. no, it's not. Absolutely not. Now, My why name. Don't you go by your real name. Why don't you show your fucking face? I would if I didn't Who have people calling you? me up, threatening me and my Who children. The fuck are you? You hollered at me. You you have actually called me and threatened me, Donald. Based on YouTube, why don't you be a real person? Because too many sickos out there want to hurt scared. people, and I've got children oh, to protect, like don't I, Donald? Like you. I have you children to protect. You create a bunch of shit. You won't even show your real face. You keep on throwing Barry and all kind of crazy shit. 
Oh, the woman card. Oh, just look up there and peek at me. Really, bitch? Donald, listen. No, you play the game. We know what you're about. Did baby. you did you tell your dad on, that man. Summer is in a tank anywhere? I just want to hear yes or no. Yes or no on what? Did, Mary said. Mary man, said. Fuck Mary. Fuck Mary. She came out and, and said that Mary you told. Okay. Your dad supposed what, what, here. Okay, let's man, let's forget about Mary. Know, okay, me. Donald, let's forget about Mary. See what you're doing? Do you see what you're doing? Let's forget about it. Your dad supposedly said. That you told oh, him that, that you believe Dino. Candace stuck. Hey, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Remember hey, Don. Saying, hey, Don. I'm in Churchill right now. now. All of a sudden, he's not senile? Which one is it? Which one is it? Is he senile and he don't know what he's saying? Or is he se or not senile and he does know what he's saying? Which one is it? That's I what I was trying to, to say. I just wanted to know if you, you said that or not. Nothing. You want to stir up shit. It's easy a question as yes or no. Yeah, no. All you had to you say is bad. no, sissy. All you had you're to say bad, is sissy. all you had We're to say. We're our daughter, and you don't want to find her. You just want to fucking make a YouTube channel. Donald, I know that no, when you don't want to lie Donald. to me. What's no, real name? I don't need What's a. I don't name? need a YouTube Show channel, Donald. Face. I don't need a YouTube you channel. No okay. You're not even a real woman. I, I hope I don't have no done. balls, Donald. I hope I don't have yeah, no balls. You, okay? Kathy, whatever your fucking name is. Well, whatever you want to call me, no, sweetheart. No, you want to keep playing all these cards. Call me whatever you want. Cards. You're evil, man. I'm and evil? I'm hard. evil. I'm not the one. I'm not the Stay one refusing to answer questions. Stay you know what you're trying to do? Stay I know you, Donald. Garden. And when you don't want to, and when you don't want to lie to me, when you don't, when you don't want to lie to me, Donald, when you don't want to tell a lie, you go around the damn bush. So obviously you told your dad. Obviously you told, really told your dad that. So you really told your dad that. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. You told your dad that. That's why you're fighting with me. No, you need to go back to praying because you're the one with a missing daughter, not hanging up flyers. Not wanting billboards up, not wanting the reward fund to go up. You're the one sitting up there. Your old lady's sitting up there hiding behind you. No, your fucking old lady's hiding behind you because she knows what the fuck she did. And you're protecting her, and I don't know why. And you tell me you love your daughter. You tell us, oh, oh, no, 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 no. No, you know she's so fucking not innocent, and that's what you're scared of. You know foul plays came into play. You know that they're looking at you motherfuckers. And you're okay. trying to go oh, throw okay. anybody okay. else under the bus oh, you can. Like you, did, like you did, like you did Dudley, like you did Ace, like you did Mr. Dobbs, like you're doing this freaking boy that you ain't ever met or didn't even know. Turn that fucking thing off. Turn the radio wow. off now. Yeah, that dumb motherfucker. He ain't going to sit there and argue with me. There you go. That's Donald Wells. Anytime he don't want to answer a fucking question or a, he don't want to, he don't want to lie to me. He hasn't ever been able to lie. So his F Mary, F Mary, he's trying to get around the question of what his dad said. That tells me, obviously, he freaking told his dad that. There you go. Then he hung up. You're right. You know, you're right. Christy. You're right, though. Every time you try to get him to answer a question which is just a yes or no he starts using foul language yes and screaming and yelling simply. instead of just saying yes simply yes or no absolutely simply yes or no absolutely simply yes or no and he couldn't answer it then he wants to go off and call me a bunch of, of things and then he wants to know my identity why does he want to know my identity you know, because he's a well, sicko. I don't know you should be showing him it's that. Because, Giving yes. the sheriff on to the right. TBI. He, has, he threatened my son. He he actually called here, threatened my son himself. And he he also has like people like Benny Keys trying to threaten me. He also has some other freaking weirdo stalker calling me up and, and calling me names in the phone and saying horrible things to me. And He also you know, says things in back chat. And yes, he does. And and back there, I just got threatened earlier, if you take a look. And that is why I can't come out here, why I can't show my face. If, if, if everyone could see the, I don't know, uh, does the chat get to see the privates? No, no, that's for us. 
Oh, because I just I I was reading that and I am just sickened by what yeah being written. yeah that's we're the only ones that's able to see that. That is just really sick. He's very sick. Uh, but that I, that's not. Who, and now someone not, in the chat. Now someone in the chat saying, "My name is Kathy. Somebody I didn't get. Um, I didn't yeah. went by real fast. But then they're saying." And then said something about I'm related to Sherfy. Um, let, really? let, let, me, let, let me make something clear. I've got a bunch of messages. They want me to sign some kind of uh, contract so I can talk to Don Wells. I will not sign no contract. That will not happen. Uh, I know that they said would I be talking to Don Wells in private. They don't want to do it public. Don, I'm just going to be just straight up with you. You don't know who I am. You don't know what I am. Everything we did and what you've seen in front of the camera was a sting operation, much like what's on you right now. Yeah. So all yeah, you people. Saying, Kathy Morse, no, I'm not her. That is some lady. I don't know who she is, but me and Jenna talked it over. I did send her family. Um, a um, Well, I actually, I tried to send her a All right, guys. Whoa. Hold on, let me unmute. So. He is off the wall. <coughs> it's getting closer. It's getting closer. Yes, he is. I think so, if she would have kept him on there a little longer. Don is losing... He's he knows he's probably going to jail, and they. I think Don knows he's gone for at least thirty days, right? Right. And in that time, and in that time, okay. Who's okay, echoing? Who's echoing. Don. Yeah. Okay. Uh, if you just exit your um, YouTube and just go into Streamyards, it'll stop the echoing. Okay. Um, yeah, I can't with Ernie either, to be honest with you. Um, yeah. I don't think Ernie knows what he's talking about. <clears throat> In my opinion, I mean, I don't have nothing against Ernie, but yeah. Um, but I think the walls are closing in. Candace and Don will be separated for at least 30 days. And I think he knows... Candace is going to have a weak moment and something's going to come out. So maybe Don is coming apart at the seams. Maybe he wants this to be over with before then. I don't know because he's trying to place blame on everybody but themselves. Maybe they didn't have anything to do with it. I don't know. But it's very interesting how he will not answer the questions when they ask him directly. Hmm. What do you think, Tina? Tara? What do I think? Mm -hmm. I think that, um, again, Kim. as soon as he goes, he's going to unravel. Yep. We're going to mm -hmm. know the truth. I think... Possibly the story that we broke the other day about the other Don and Don Jr. Mm -hmm. I think, in my opinion, I mean, it is suspicious. The guy does have a lot of, I mean, he's obviously the other Don is a very sick human being, in my opinion. Uh, yeah. But... Don has threw everybody under the bus to where it makes him look more guilty. You know, uh -huh. yeah, that's Tara, who's a mod for Marissa as well. Yes. Um, but, you know, it's it, something is just really wrong here. Very, very wrong. Very. And I think, you know, Don has literally blamed everybody except for themselves of anything. And when you blame everybody, you know, there's 
if you're a parent with a missing child, you would only be, you know, suspicious of persons who you would really think might be involved, like really, really suspicious. He has through neighbors under the bus, you know, Jody, Sue, Don, uh, all of them, every neighbor out there, right? Mm -hmm. He's through his co-workers He's under, the, I mean, just much. so many people under the bus. And it's only allegedly one of them, or none of them, actually, who knows if it's any, but well, I mean, which is it, Don? Is it, you know, pick one and stick with it, right? To change your title to Don Wells and maybe he'll hop on here. I don't want to talk to Don. <laughs> don't want to talk to him. Not interested. I, I just, I let everybody else talk with that. I don't want to be in that buffoonery. It's not, it's just not who I am. If you really thought, I mean, if, if I was the parent and I really thought that guy was the person, wouldn't you go after him? I mean, the police would be having me pulling me off of that person if well, that's I, what you really believe. Well, I'm afraid. My question is, why the hell has it waited till now? Exactly. Why I mean, if that's what you been... really thought, I'd be right. pulling that if guy out of his house, beating him to death, you home, know. Mm -hmm. Right. You know, why mm -hmm. in the hell didn't you do something before now? Exactly. Mm -hmm. Crazy <clears throat> lunatic. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. Because I know if that's what I believed in my heart and soul, <clears throat> I'd be pounding that guy in, you know, screaming, where is my kid, you know? I don't know. And another thing is... we have to, is wacky. Another thing we have to consider is maybe Don honestly doesn't know or doesn't think or both, Candace has anything to do with it. You know what I mean? And Candace could be holding a secret. And you really could think someone else did it. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I mean, is it possible Candace could be lying? Possibly. And and Don not know anything? Absolutely. Because, yeah. I mean, honestly, I feel mm -hmm. like if Don didn't know... And Candace wouldn't tell him because Don would kill her, in my opinion. He would absolutely harm her. But why isn't he trying to clean up that house to even get the boys back is my question, too. Because, they're because I, don't even think, yeah, so I don't even think that there would have a chance to get those babies back until this little girl is found and proven what happened to her. And I mm -hmm. think that that's what's buying them time with their home. I mean, I do say that they're trying, but, and then the flip side of me says, Kim, if it was you mm -hmm. and your three boys were out of here and you know how, C you know, the CPS is telling you whatever they're saying, mm -hmm. do they have enough energy to fix that house immediately? I don't know. I try to put myself with both shoes on. You know what I mean? But mm -hmm. she's Not able to, to party. Yeah, I couldn't. I don't. Know I would have. I, I would have high assed out of there, or thrown her out of there, or found myself another place. I. I. I don't know. I get what I you're saying, I Kim, because I drugs, probably would be in a ball. No mattress. Mm -hmm. What is it, Tina? Can you say that again, Tina? You muted yeah. yourself. They can afford to drink. They can afford to have the drugs, but they can't afford to get a nice mattress for the daughter. Mm -hmm. You know, Don made really good money. You know, it's uh, yeah. you drywall finishers. It's a really good, you know, it's a decent paying job. You know, the only payment that they had was their utilities and a car payment. And that's even paid off now. Mm -hmm. How do they pay that off? I mean, I've gone without having a, I've gone without having a bed for myself when I had my son and I've gone without having food. So he could have food. I wouldn't dream of, yeah. Treating him like that, no way. Mm -hmm. I mean, no I wouldn't let my dog sleep on that mattress. I wouldn't oh, let my no. dog sleep on that mattress. 
No. I wouldn't let my dog sleep in that basement, let alone my children. It's I wouldn't so let my dog sleep in that house. It's so hard Ugh. to read Don as well because he's so good at deflecting. He's a manipulator. He's just so good at deflecting, so good at manipulating people. Yeah. Yes. And it's just. It makes you wonder, I mean, does he actually know what Candice has done? Or is he just, he knows what's going on and he's just constantly deflecting to take the heat off him? You know what, if a husband and a wife, and if your child goes missing, and you really believe your wife, mm -hmm. you don't say, I have seven alibis for myself. Candace mm -hmm. has nothing. No. Mm -hmm. My husband would back me up completely. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And you know what? There's other, you know, people out here with missing children who are begging, begging for people to cover their cases. You know what I mean? Right. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. Don and Candace, they don't want anything to do with it except when they're drunk and filthy sloppy at the house, you know, and, in the middle of the night, they want to call a YouTuber and cuss them out and call them horrible names that words should never be spoke of again. Mm -hmm. I went to Kentucky to visit my daughter. I put 125 flyers up of summer. Mm -hmm. I'm more than sure it's more than they ever did. 1,000%, Karen. Mm -hmm. One thousand percent. Mm -hmm. uh, Lisa, did yeah, he ever uh, give an explanation for that? Sorry. Go ahead. Sorry. I'm going to say the picture that you showed yesterday of Summer with a swollen face. Did Donald Candice ever give an explanation for that picture? No. Mm -mm. Of what was wrong with that? Don's backstage. I just think that little girl, the other little girl, her face looked disordered too. So I have a feeling it was just the picture. It could have been just the picture, but you, you know, I can't imagine, and I'm judging here a little bit. Um, I can't imagine, <laughs> you're funny, thank you. I can't imagine a parent letting their child go over to Don and Candace's who would be a responsible parent, mm -hmm. you know, unattended, spending the night. Mm -hmm. I know it's a little judgy, but, mm -mm. you know, I don't think her parents well, they should have, have been, been charged. Oh, no. Mm -hmm. They should have been charged when they had children there and they wouldn't give the parents the address at first. Yeah, You know, I know the CPS thing is closed. We can't like, know what they're doing or anything. But I'm going to tell you right now, when I went through CPS, I had to go to alcohol classes, drug classes, even though my case wasn't neither one of them. I didn't have a problem with neither one of them. Mm -hmm. But I had to go through all those classes, parenting classes, all those classes, I had to pass every single one of them, and or I would not. Well, I ended up getting, not getting my son back anyway, but I didn't. I wouldn't have gotten my son. They told me I wouldn't have got my son back if I didn't take those classes. Why aren't they taking those classes? That's Why aren't they question. getting his test? That's because they're question. never getting their sons back, and they're never getting summer back. Uh, right. It was interesting, Don, mentioning about his friends in law enforcement as well. Exactly. I think he was. I think he was probably wishing he'd never said that. But each time he speaks, he always lets something slip. Mm -hmm. Yep. They're incapable. They're just incapable of being, you know, shutting their mouth and talking to a reporter, they're, they're just incapable of being good human beings for a decent amount of time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Don can get try to get clean and stuff, but the wheels always fall off with these people. 
need some people have to have constant chaos constant turmoil in their lives and the kids have to face, see this every single day day in day out and it is just it's incomprehensible to most wholesome people you know what i mean i don't understand how people live like this so much has, function and it has nothing to do with money it has mm. nothing to do with money no mm -mm. Mm -mm. they can still have personal pride of their home i was raised i told you guys i was raised very i was raised poor right but we were clean, you know, we still had respect for ourselves and other people, mm -hmm. you know, and this is just, it's just not okay. You don't have to I have mean, money to have morals. Mm -mm. Or class, or class. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and how any, how any parent thinks they get on these YouTube channels. Excuse me, they're saying Don is on Cam and Alley now. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Jesus, he's all over the place. He's on, who's Alley? Oh, Cam and Alley? Cam and Alley now? I don't know who that is. Mm -hmm. particularly don't he's like enjoying this. his enjoying the time before he's locked up. Mm -hmm. Alley needs yep. to get on because he's going to call her next. Call hmm. her out. Yeah, he, yeah, he'll call my. She's uh, probably uh, asleep though, isn't she? She should be. Yeah. After all, what she did today. Yeah. I don't know where she gets her energy from. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I have, I have. She should bottle up what Molly has and sell it instead of Red Bull. <laughs> but she, what she did today, I couldn't have done. Dancing around the way she did, and, I mean. Woo. Not me. I would have broken hit. <laughs> Hell of a woman. He's on now. Quiet. YouTube, Please. yeah, that's where he said that. That y'all were in a, a gunfight with each other. Y'all didn't get along. And, right. and yeah. That's contradicting. Yeah, that's contradicting right there. Well, then now. Not only that, if we was in a gunfight with somebody, somebody would have some wall holes in them. And <clears> be in jail. Well, that's, that's true. That's very true. Yeah. He he made a he made a, a a comment before he got done with that interview, and you know I, I wanted and this would be good to ask. He said, "I just feel like people are pushing me, that somebody's going to get hurt." That's what he said on a phone call, and I was like, "Man, you can't, you know, you don't even know him. He's threatening. There, nobody's, uh, you know, you haven't said anything against him or anybody. Everybody's saying that you thrown the blame out on everybody on the community. You just said, hey, I don't know who did it.'" Uh, you just want answers. And when I brought that, when I brought this up, this is very true. When I brought this, this, uh, John, uh, Don Sherpy Jr. up in his charges, you didn't know nothing about him. No, I didn't. Never met the guy in my life, but I don't know that he's tied with my mother's husband. He didn't and release my it. My husband did. was Bill Goad, and his sister is Mary Goad that lives right up here, just right up here on the hill. Mm -hmm. And somehow he's tied with There you go, Don. Thank you. I see you. At all, I really don't know. I ain't figured that out yet. He's dated. I think that what we found out is he's dating Mary Goad, his daughter. Really? Yeah. Mary, Goad. Mary Goad's daughter. Yeah. Daughter. Oh, okay. daughter. Mary Sex and Mary Goad. Same. Well, I I went up there to talk to her one day, and, and I was like, I went up there to talk to Mary. Drove up there, and I was like, Mary, I think it's very possible that they could have whoever took Summer could have carried her up through the river there and up by her house up to that trailer up there that y'all talk about where they found her footprints, right? Right. And some young woman was, I don't know who she was, she was a red-headed girl, and she says, y'all keep your shit on your hill over there and we'll keep our crap on our hill over here. I was like, well, what does that mean? Yeah, that's... You know, that's, that was my question. What does that mean? I, mean, I don't understand. My, my little girl's missing, and they was all irate and stuff. Well, see, when my mother was still alive, okay, my mother promised this property to Mary and the Sexes. Right. Whatever her husband's name was and everything. Well, my mom got real sick, and they wanted us, you know, to, my mom's friend wanted me to come up here and help my mother because she was sick and she was dying. She had... Uh, uh, I forget what you call it. I think of it in a minute. I'll let you know. See, she had sepsis, wasn't it? 
or not yes, sent to the Yes, it was. Okay. That's what it was. Yes, sir. So we come out here to help her and everything. Of course, my mom's going to want to give the property to her kids and her grandkids. Of course, she's going to want to do that. I <laughs> thank God that she did that, you know. Yeah. But they, since then, they have hated us and acted like that we do this pretty and so I know they've been talking and all kind of stuff. They don't want me up there. They don't want me talking to them. Exactly. Really hateful. All this, all these years, they've been really hateful towards us. So what? So 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 why wouldn't I think that Mister uh, Sheriff's boy wouldn't take that as well? Then that's I'm justified in taking their daughter. Then. How do I know that? Is that, that, that well, you that you know that's a good point and. Don, you're handled, you've handled this very well talking right now, and I'm glad that you did that. I'm glad you called us now because all the people in the chat are saying uh, John's being very calm. He's handling this. this. This is pretty good, and this is the information that I feel like is very important. If these people if these people up on that hill, when you go up and ask about your daughter, don't even want to conversate with you about it and say, hey, you keep your shit over there, and we keep ours over here. Uh, there's, you know, and listen, and this is a thing too, a lot of, like a lot of people have noticed this too. Their feathers got really ruffled when we started talking about junior. And I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means. So yeah. I bet Um, so. We just, and he looked, I don't know if you caught this. He said, uh, senior, Don Sherman senior said, yes, I've been investigated. My alibi is clear, but they've never talked to my son. Wow. That's what he I just said in his. This is, this is just what I told Kathy on prayer garden. Nobody's been clear. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. And he's trying to tell everybody, pull smoke up everybody's ass, that he's been cleared. And he's been with the sheriff department for all these years. He's been a jailer for two years and he got shit canned. Yeah. He ain't no damn law enforcement. He don't mean nothing to law enforcement. He's trying to. Yeah. Well, he, yeah, you, you, and I know what you're referring to. He's acting like because out at the bottom of the driveway with Molly and that, that he had inside information. And we, yeah. that's, that's really what made me, um, that's he was really, a jailer for two years. Exactly. He's, he's not in law enforcement at all, at all. Yeah. He probably got caught bringing drugs in or something. I don't know. Don't say that, Don. We don't know. <laughs> we don't know the truth about it I yet. Mean, that's possible. It is, it is possible, but, you know, this, the main thing, you know, I, I don't know. I just think that if we... I'm sorry, I shouldn't say, like, something like that, but I'm just so upset. I apologize. I know you are, man, and like I said, the people said, I didn't get to hear it. I know that you got upset on Prayer Garden's channel, but I appreciate you. Have, you are being calm right now, and I do appreciate that. I'm sorry, bro. I'm just, I, I know, man. This has got to be the most... Our daughter, with all our heart, and for all these people, especially Sherby, I don't even know what to say that what he's saying that he don't even know us well there's you know, it's just so upsetting is there any so he you know he was talking about um he see then he made a claim like this and i want to i want to ask you about this because he said he said that the boys and and summer had been seen down in the road unattended playing and they drove through there and had to tell him to get out of the road and stuff so he's saying he's making claims that's the biggest lie, bro. Okay. I didn't say that. I didn't hear that. Before. Yeah, go back and listen wow. to her interview with him. Or you can listen to mine. We just talked about it, too, on here. Uh, if you go back and listen to it. See, he did. That's, something so, I could go to, that's something I could go to jail for right there. Be glad to go to jail for it. That's an outright lie. I that's, would never let my kids. You know, the farthest up that my kids go, brother, when I have my kids, <laughs> two motorcycles, they say, can we go down there to the turnaround and back? And so we'd be standing outside, and I said, yeah, you got five minutes to drive the motorcycles down there and back. And we could hear the motors running down there and the air coming back. And that just my two oldest boys. That's it, brother. Well, see, no, and I'm glad you answered that, because that cleared it up for me, too. I said... Because me and Allie were talking on here, and I said, you know, maybe we're, you know, when kids usually live in the country and stuff, they'll ride around and do, uh, you know, they go far. But you're, you know, you cleared up. You said, no, I, they, they asked me, can I go down there? And I told them, you know, what, what you just said. You said, no, you go to this point, you come back. That's, that's, that's good. I'm glad you cleared that up. Thank you. Yeah, and, then, and if they want her to go down to the river, bro, we have uh, two-way 
radios. They yeah. have radios, and each one of my boys had a knife in case there were some wild animals or something. I do remember. I you. remember you all saying um, that and yes. talking to us about that. Summer would never, she wouldn't even go with them. I didn't want her to go with them, but she wouldn't. There, okay. See, that's. Somebody, bro, somebody come up here and took my daughter. Somebody did. We don't know who, but we know somebody did for a fact. We know that. Right. And I. This has been, that's the, that's the main thing that we have fought for to this whole thing. There is too don't much know that. that has been, look, we got, it, regardless of what anybody wants to say or argue, those footprints on that property, why would that property owner that does not even know you has come out no on, reason to lie. there's no reason right. to lie, come out on Facebook and say, against my wife's wishes, I'm in law enforcement, he said against law enforcement, I wanted to tell people, if they locate the dogs hit her scent on my property with footprints, he talked about it. Why would he come out and lie? He has no he doesn't know you. He doesn't right. you know what I'm saying? Yeah, why is he doing all this? It's crazy. Yeah. But you know, if he's but it's it's out there. Well there's the footprints, there's all sorts of there, you know, I law enforcement hasn't chose to talk about it and I don't I know that's there, you know, that's their problem. They can do what they want. That's their investigation. Um, right. I hope maybe that they do come out and talk about it because it would help clear out, clear up some stuff. But we know on their second search, they came back out there and were was out in that area looking at something. Exactly. Right? Exactly. So I don't know, man. But I appreciate you calling, and I'm I appreciate you. <laughs> really suspicious that you would come down here and say all the stuff you were saying when you don't even know us. I don't know him. I've never seen that guy in my life or his son. Right. That's crazy. Well, thank you guys. God bless you all. You too, buddy. You Sorry, too. I lost my cool. No, you're good, man. You handled you handled yourself well over here. I appreciate it. Yeah, man. Thank look, I'll holler, I'll holler back at you when I get off here. Love you. Thank you. All right, man. See you, buddy. Love you, buddy. So. Ooh, my gut's on fire. Did he just say, I love you, <clears throat> bye? Yeah, love you, buddy. Oh, <laughs> God. So, this is my issue with them. Like, I actually think... Oh, let me unmute. Mm. He's just ba- panel hopping tonight. <clears throat> yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, that's a sign of intoxication. And he actually gets up and goes to work. <laughs> that's just, be a, surprised. Know, just a daily thing for them. The thing that I personally don't agree with cracking cases is they don't, they say, well, we'll lead wherever the evidence goes. This is my opinion and I'm not going to be disrespectful to them. Um, but my thing is, they say, wherever the evidence goes. But you, they don't talk about Don and Candace in any negative light about what they have done. You know, what the evidence shows about their past and their present behavior. It's all looked over. You know Everything. why? You know why I think, in my opinion? Why? Exactly the reason why I said I'd talk to Candace. And I don't know these people. And I don't have a channel. But you just let them talk. If you yell and scream and yell at them and say, you know, you're, you're this, you're that. If you, if you listen, they just say, mm-hmm, yeah, well, this is what happened. They're not saying you didn't, you know, you had a clean, you didn't have a clean house. You didn't do this. You didn't do that. Because that's not where his mind wants to talk about. If you if you listen to him, he mm-hmm. wants to knock the people around him. So, in my opinion, they're allowing him to be like a waterfall and let it flow because something's gonna come out. And so that's you, what I've you noticed actually about think them. That you it's actually think that they think that they're he's guilty. They're just being kind to him. Hell yes. Mm-hmm. Possible. They're guilty of child neglect. They're guilty of child abuse, whether they did something to Summer or not. They are still guilty mm-hmm. of what 
it is. It is what it is. It is what it is. They're guilty of child neglect, child abuse. Come on, you know? But I think that this is a tactic that they're using to pull that rope in. Benny said last night that it is more or less being nice to try to get info. Well, Benny knows so much more info than the man in the moon. <clears throat> mm -hmm. I think, I think if anybody knows info, it's would be in my opinion, share or Benny or Cam, you know, I mean, if they know but you, something, but you know, I what just, they didn't know was Don Sheffrey. That is what these people didn't know. And what blew my mind was when he was on prayer garden and he said, Oh my God, pug. He said, my train of thought, you damn dog. Mm -hmm. He said, um, oh, fuck. let me think about it. He didn't know these people. He had no idea who these people were. His son was arrested for 500 pictures on this, on, on the internet. I mean, he just, he didn't know anything. Nobody knew anything. How in the hell was this missed by everyone? There's footprints in that place where this Don Senior. Or Warrior, that, I said that today, not last lady night. Lady is. What the hell do you mean you missed this? I think so too. You know, how'd you miss this shit? You know, don't, I, I just feel like, is this something that now he can use to cover what's getting ready to happen on the 7th? Is this something he can, you know, now, because these people did own red trucks. Did have a drone. But How Prairie Gordon said he had an alibi. He was already brought up. I had something so good to say, and I lost it when this dog started to bark. I'm going to think about it. <clears throat> I don't know. The more I think about this case, the more confused I get. I like to know who his friends are in the police department. We can always find that out, Karen. Yeah. Which I believe from day one, you know. But, but also, you have to understand, again, just like some people believe Cam and Allie and Benny are being, you know, nicer to... Don and Candace because they're trying to get information out of them. The police could be doing the same thing. They may, Don may feel like they're buddies, but maybe they're really not. Right. Definitely the police, the TBI. I really believe they have more than they're saying and everything oh. on their chest. Mm hmm. It's yeah, very I, hard to to prosecute a crime when you don't have a body or yes, evidence. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. But to actually, they should be bringing him in. They should have enough to bring him in at least and question him. Oh, they have questioning. him. But the thing about it is, but, is yeah. I mean, you don't have to stay there. You True. don't have to stay there. True. You can walk right out. Oh, That's yeah. Great. You know, mm -hmm. all this crap is so very I'm Oh, sorry. I'm local, OMG, all of this crap is so very ridiculous. I'm amazed at all the stories to get started. I don't know one single person who believes them, not one. And law enforcement is not like the Wells. Yeah. I mean, I would say, Lisa B, yeah. I don't think that they, yeah, maybe I'm wrong. Um but I don't think that they have had a real hard, you know what I mean, uh, interview. And I could be wrong. I don't know. You know what I mean? But also, if they know their rights, 
they know that they can get up and leave at any time. And they oddly talk about making amends and coming together weird all that sudden. Yes. Um, allegedly, I believe last night, BK, Ernie, and Cam was on um, Ernie's um, uh, channel and they was all talking about, you know, making amends and coming together, but they said they would talk to Ernie without cameras. Does that even make sense at all? <laughs> to me, it doesn't make sense. Um, you know, I, to be honest with you, I thought, well, why would they want to meet Ernie without cameras? What could possibly happen without cameras? I, I just, none of this is making sense. I think it's, well, they don't, you know, I mean, don't, Benny. Don't have to reference Donna's life. What's that? So it seems, it seems funny how a lot of it is after Reverend Donna's live. How they seem to yes. be now running scared and Chris McDonough and... It's like somebody just hit that shell and it's cracking and cracking and cracking until everything comes out. Well, didn't Ernie said they wanted him to sign papers tonight on that thing and he said he's not signing any papers? That was probably for a newspaper deal. No, it was like, the NDA. about what not is, talking. Yeah. The NDA is you can. Mm -hmm. But I, I, I want to say something. Um, <clears throat> everybody was questioning, you know, when we were at the wells, when the guy came down and, well, what did you actually do there? What did you actually do there with Marissa and everybody? And I have to say that if Big Don B son or him, if allegedly they would be guilty mm -hmm. of this crime, then him coming down there and them recording it and putting it out, mm -hmm. that's a big thing that they did. They got the ball moving just by that video and him coming down. Mm -hmm. Because nobody they would be talking about, about this when, otherwise. When, when Ziggy was there, they were about as well. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So for somebody that allegedly has nothing to do with it, they might be trying to kill the first mm -hmm. I don't know. Even the a screenwriter more... couldn't come up with something like this. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> I mean, Ernie also said he got. Case because of Biki, he met him at the Speedway or something. Yeah. I don't know. Now I do know that um, allegedly Benny is supposed to be coming in for Don's court date. That is rumor. Um, he said the other night he's here. Okay, so he's here. Okay. I can't imagine Benny letting Don talk like this. You know what I mean? He didn't go to Benny's channel today. Why? Maybe they had a falling out. I mean, it was either well, <clears throat> a falling out or, or did Benny, did he crack the egg a little more? I don't think Benny changes ways. Um, I mean, I think he's the looking for reward money. That's what I think. Mm. Do the Wells Honest... still have their PR fella? Tim, yes. Is it Tim? Well, he's doing a great job. Oh, somebody's saying it was his sister's <laughs> funeral today. Yeah, he went to visit the gravesite apparently or something for the memorial. Mm. He was live okay. tonight, too. Oh, okay. So is Benny in Texas or is Benny in Tennessee? Texas. He's right here. Oh, my God. 
This woman has also called Don Sheffrey. Who? Prayer Garden? Pete. Yep. Okay, hold on. Yeah, I was going to tell you. <clears throat> Here you go. Uh, everybody mute, please. I'm going to. Uh, Jason, I'm going to you need to channel? go back. Huh? I'm going to go to the you other channel. Just. Yeah, what go is back it? to it, it's two oh seven twenty. That's where it's at. It's right. It's in the more in the beginning of the line. Okay. Card at Christmas around Christmas. I sent a card letting them know some of her family did get back with me and asked him what exactly was going on. Hold on. What do you mean two oh seven? Like. Okay, so two. like when you are live and you pull that that little bar back oh hold on i see it i got it never mind okay there you go stop pug damn this dog wants treats every it's second your girl. okay that's we close the next row okay yeah. you go up in the hills when you pass on and can hold on is this going on now no no this oh. was earlier today and it's on her live that she's on live now with. That makes any sense. <laughs> this pissed me off. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> Let me see. That must be why. Don flipped out. Yep, that's what I'm thinking. That's close. Okay. Thank you. And um, and that's why you were down there telling them to please quit with the blow horns and <coughs> carrying on because you guys. Yeah, I mean, they were... my, my girlfriend's mom is in her late 70s. She's got some, some medical problems. And all they do when they get in around that bullhorn and they'll test it, it goes up the collar. And it just goes up her nerves and then to the nerves and nerves are correct. Absolutely, as older people are. I went back and watched the video. I said, I'm former law enforcement. I work in three different departments. Plus, I've been in the military. I got almost 18 years total. Thank you for your service. Thank you for your service. And, and I didn't dream that. I've done what we call I eat my jail boy. I was sorted. It's echoing real board. bad. I, 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 it I, is? I, oh, hold on. I need to mute. Yeah. And then, I, I clearly didn't understand. Can you back it up just a little bit? Did it anyway. Yeah. Yes. Yes, they did. And um, so your son don't know Jody Sue. I was having trouble hearing him. He didn't speak to him. They do not think he is involved in anything. He did what he did. He'll face it. Why continue to look back further? I guess. Because I see, you know, absolutely do. Is muscles up it's here? Um, What's the time stamp that he should them. start at? I got um, I'd like to ask you some questions about your son, Don Jr. I understand that the Wells, Donald and Candace Wells, are um, right now trying to um, throw him under the bus saying that he had something to do with their daughter coming up missing. Um, I would like to ask you, um, what do you think about that? That's a crock of bull. I think so, too. That's exactly what it is. I, well, I know it is. Absolutely. And my um, son got in trouble. He made a mistake. And and they're wanting to say, well, he's done this, he's done that. And uh, because Evelyn Boswell lived close to him eight minutes away when she went missing and, and, and was murdered. That case has CBI. been solved. That case has been solved. Yeah, the mother yeah. of that child did that. Yeah, Megan done that. And we yeah, all know it. Yes, she did. And and they're trying to say my son had something to do with that. Well, if he did, he'd be charged with murder or something. Absolutely. And I have been questioned by the PBI, and they have cleared me, 
And I would like to think that since my son's got the same name I do when they pulled us both up, they've seen the charges against him. They have not needed to speak to him. They do not think he is involved with anything. He did what he did, and he'll face the charges. You know, he'll have to, have to pay, pay for what he did. But Absolutely. as far as being involved with, uh, with Megan or with some or either one, no. Absolutely. Uh, the whales are just trying to, in my personal opinion, trying to throw it off on somebody else, anybody, so it would take the look that, you know, so people quit looking at them. Amen. Uh, Thank you. Thank you for saying that. Well, you know, and I'm sick of it. I mean, they've, they've done YouTube videos about me, about my son, and and I'm sick of it. And does your I, does your son do about it. does your son know yeah. Don or Candace Wells? No, he absolutely does not know way over. The only person he knows over in that community is my girlfriend and her mom. And my son, the last time he was over there was uh, late 2020, early 2021. He uh, helped my other son and my grandson met us in Johnson City. Okay. Truck. And One so it's your home. girlfriend. It is your girlfriend that lives um, over there on like two minutes and away. Her and her yeah. mother. It's her, your girlfriend and her mother that lives over there on Ben Hill Road. Okay, that's Which close. The next road up. Okay. Yeah. You go up Ben Hill when you pass Don and Candace. Okay, that's Which close. Next, okay. Yeah. You go up Ben Hill when you pass Don and Candace. The road that my girlfriend and her mom live on. Thank you, and um, and that's why you were down there telling them to please quit with the blow horns and carrying on because you yeah, guys. I mean, they were. My my girlfriend's mom is in her late seventies. She's got some, some medical problems, and all they do when they get down there on that bullhorn and protest, and it echoes up at Holler, mm -hmm. and it just gets on her nerves, and then she's a nervous wreck. Absolutely, as older and, people and are. I went down there, and they said I screamed at them. I went back and watched the video. Uh, like I said, I'm former law enforcement. I, I've worked for three different departments, plus being in the military. I got almost, probably almost 18 years total. Thank you for your service. Inside. Thank you for you're, your you're service. Welcome. And I didn't scream at them. I done what we call, I used my jail voice. I was authoritative. Uh, I made my point. And then after I had to make my point, I was done. And uh, I, I didn't clearly give permission understand. to video me. But they did it anyway. Yeah. Yes. Yes, they did. And um, so your son don't know Jody Sue. He wasn't up there um, down at the um, end of the driveway playing with Dom Wells' uh, sons on June the 15th or helping to search for My Summer. Son, no. No, he has absolutely nothing to do with that. He doesn't even know who they are. He can't well, tell you where they live. Are you aware that Dom Wells is saying that your son was at the bottom of the driveway playing with his boys the day Summer came up missing? No, I was not. I haven't. Yeah. I haven't, haven't heard that. That's what they're saying right now. And are you aware that they said well, that he was he I'm was sorry, hanging well. with Jody Sue, um, I don't remember that who Jody Sue is. on June the fifteenth, all, uh, all the way up until late in the evening. Who's Jody Sue? Jody Sue and Andy, they're the neighbors that live across the street from the Wells. Oh, that's a block of crock of bull. He don't know them either. And that's that, that exactly. people lived up on that hill over there. Yes. Ever since this took place, it caused a ruckus. They they got the whole neighborhood up in an uproar. Don and Candace are both liars. Don Wells made the statement that he taught his children not to leave his property, and that's a crock of bull because we've been in and out of our meantime had to stop in the middle of the road so they could get out of the road where they've been playing in the road, and that includes Summer, when, she, when we've seen her before she went missing. They ride their dirt bikes up and down the road. They've been on my my girlfriend's neighbor's property. We had to notify them. I mean, they, they think they own the whole place up to her. Don made the comment that his mother owned all that property and she sold it, which is a lie. But she didn't own the property. Her husband owned that property, which was my 
uh, girlfriend's mom's cousin, I think. And uh, Don Wells' mom didn't sell off none of that. That was all bought long before she ever she ever lived over there. Oh, I did not know that. Boy, thank yes, you. Oh, wow. They, they and, aggravate me. They get under my skin, and I am fed up with it. Oh, I, 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 have a, I have contacted my TBI agent that I spoke with, and I'm going to get in touch with him again, and I'm going to see if there's any charges that I can file against Don and Candace. And if I have to, I'll go and file against uh, those uh, those YouTubers who keep coming over our protest. Because I'm sick of it. I want them to leave me alone. I want them to leave my girlfriend her, and her mom alone. And they leave my son alone. Because I'm a pretty easy guy to get along with. But if you twist me too hard and I start snapping, and I'm going to go off on somebody. And I'm afraid I'll hurt somebody. Because I do not like the fact that people, you can talk about me all you want to. She leave my kids out of it. They had absolutely nothing to do with it. Absolutely. Absolutely. And you being in law enforcement and so forth and military, why would they even believe that you had anything to do with anything? Was it just because you reside well, up there on that road? I don't even, I don't even live over there. I oh. just visit my girlfriend on a weekend. I live about in another community. Right. And um, so basically um, they just questioned you because you were in the area. Yes. Don Wells made the statement that I was at the bottom of the hill searching for Summer when he came home, which was a lie. I was in uh, Andover, Maryland on the 15th, and I was in Grove, Port Ohio on the 16th. I drive a tractor and trailer for a living. TBI questioned me about it. I gave them my alibi. They checked it out with my previous employer, and they, they verified where I was at by computer, where we have computer tracking in our trucks. And he told me that I was clear, no problems, not to worry about nothing. Oh, well, God bless you. And your son, they're trying to say that your son's home has been recently, they've got a warrant and went in and checked his home and invaded him. Is that there any truth to that at all? No, ma'am, it's not. My son lives with me. He used to live with his mother. They have never served a warrant on my place. They've not come in on me. They've not come in on him. He knows that if the law comes up, that he has to cooperate with them as part of his uh, his bond agreement. Absolutely. So, no, they have not come to my, come to his house. The only time they they searched his house was the day they arrested him, and that was back in um, May the twentieth of last year. Okay. Um. Absolutely. So, I guess that um. You pretty much, um, actually, you don't know how much you've helped me. I am so appreciative of you talking well, with me. What did you do? I mean, um, believe it or not, I'm a YouTuber too, but I'm not one right. of the YouTubers you're talking about. I, um, I go under Prayer Garden of America. I search 100% for the truth, nothing but the truth, and I'm looking to get to seek, um, Summer. I want to find her. We want to find her. I it's pray every over, day. He is not over there in that area. I was and, not. And, I was not over no, in that area. Summer. Summer's not over there. They've come back and searched and searched and searched. And in my heart, I know Summer's not there. I know in my heart that Don and Candace Wells knows where that girl's at or where she was at. I truly I agree I with have... you. I truly agree with you. And it made me so upset that they tried to throw your son under the bus as they have done so many other innocent people in order yeah. to get the focus off their self again. And I'm tired of it. I spoke with Donald and Candace Wells over the last um, seven months. I have talked with them repeatedly. Um, like, you don't know how much I was on the phone with these people, almost living with them um, through a telephone. And they were not out hanging up flyers. They were not wanting billboards put up. They were not wanting the reward fund to go up. They um, did not want to speak about summer, talk about summer. They talk about anything but summer. I'm telling you, in my opinion, 
absolutely. They know exactly what happened to her. They know exactly why they covered it up and where she is. We do not know because they will not tell us. And I'm damn tired of it as well. Absolutely. Well, I, I, won't, I won't make no accusations against them that I don't feel the truth. I give you my opinion. My opinion is they know where she's at. Rumor had it that she traded Summer off to her drug dealer to cover some her drug charges that she had, you know, where she couldn't pay for her drugs. That's the rumor that went around. Whether it's true or not, I don't know. I don't, I don't say it is because I don't know. You know, I can't go around. It would be right for me to go around and be making accusations and innuendos against them when they're doing the same thing to me. I don't Absolutely. fight things like that. Absolutely. You know, I like to know the truth. And, you know, the truth is I was not there. My son hasn't been over there in over a year. And like right. I said, the last time he was there, he was in the company with me, my girlfriend, her mom, my youngest son, and my grandson. They met us in Johnson City, Tennessee, picked up a big recliner and in their truck. Piled it down there and helped me get it in the house for uh, for my girlfriend's mom. And that's the last time he was over there. Now, this cracking cases with Cam and Allie, you know, he went on there, and I've seen two videos, and he was the one that came out and said, you know, it's it's a funny thing that Donald Jr. is in around all this. You know, he's making accusations, well, not maybe accusations, but he's putting a thought in other people's heads that, you know, my son is involved in it when he doesn't even have the facts. You know, yes, he is. I mean, all he and, and, and he handpicked you. Right. He's handpicking your son so he can continue to get his clicks, likes, and views, in my opinion, to get his click, likes, and views and be able to stick around the wells and keep kissing their ass and then he'll do about anything for them to be able to make that happen. Absolutely. And I 100% um, agree with you. He is the one that's trying to put that thought into people's minds and that's why I'm out right. here to take it out of their minds because, you know, as I said, in my opinion, um, Candace and Grandis and Donald, they know exactly what happened to Summer. They're covering it up and they need to, um, you know, be brought to justice for what they're doing, in my opinion. That's my opinion. Absolutely. And well, that's like why... I told them when I, I, I'm sorry, go ahead. That's why I called you and um, to get the truth... Okay, um, that, does anyone need me to play it again? So what do we think about that? He is pissed off over that. What do you think? He's pissed off over that, yep. But in my opinion... I understand he loves his son. I get that. But his son. His son's a piece of shit. Thank you. Exactly. <laughs> uh -oh. A normal human being doesn't do that. Mm -mm. And I have a very good story to tell about that whenever you'd like to hear a story about somebody just like Don Jr. But oh. no. Did you catch oh, yeah. when he said, I was away in Maryland, but yet he's giving his son an alibi? Right. Right. Well, what were you laughing at? What did I do? Uh -huh. What did I do? Because I, I kept, she, she said, <clears throat> thank you for your service. Thank you for your service. And I went, Karen, shh, hush. And then I realized, what the hell you're doing, woman? You've really lost it. That's not Karen. Oh. This is Karen. Hush. Shh. Yeah, I wasn't talking. <laughs> I know it wasn't you, but it just I just started to giggle. And I thought, I just needed that because I was getting heated. And I went, Karen, hush. I really, I mean, for a split second, I thought, God, why would she say thank you for your service? Oh. But it wasn't you. Thank you, though. I needed that damn laugh. <laughs> this case is going to be a mini series, I'm telling you, on TV. Oh, my God, yes. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, I just want to know what he thinks of his son. 
Like, what does he actually well, think? This of? is the thing, uh, Mary. Uh, also, the sun will most likely be behind bars mm -hmm. um, in April. Um, but if the son and the dad lived together, he was doing this under his roof. Yep. I'm starting to believe the son is behind maybe someone missing. So true. Mm -hmm. yep. It's possible. I'm really starting to really believe that. But I don't know. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I really don't know. I, I mean, I Candace know. and Don are guilty of something, but now I'm really starting to believe the son is behind this. Mm -hmm. It's just really strange. It, it all just doesn't make sense. It's mm -hmm. almost like you want to go back yeah. and go through every phone call and start yeah. doing bullet points. And yep. I might do that because mm -hmm. things don't add up. No. I want to know where these footprints, where they were found in mm -hmm. conjunction to where he was at. Mm -hmm. And why is he, why is he so angry? You're I mean, it could be possible she went down the to the bottom of the driveway and Kansas was gone. You know, why maybe she went and met somebody. Mm -hmm. Why would he even put himself mm -hmm. in the middle of it when he mm -hmm. already knows what he believes because he stated his opinion mm -hmm. when he was on Ben Hill? Why would you even put yourself in the middle of it? Yep. Yeah, I mean, he's why talking, wouldn't you just stay home? Yep. Yeah, he's talking about I don't even live on Ben Hill Road, but if they come up here again, well, just because your girlfriend lives up there, mm -hmm. and just because if you did live up there, you can't tell mm -hmm. anyone to not protest. That's mm -hmm. right. You what can come protest you anywhere right? you want. Mm hmm. I mean, his mother-in-law? No. Come on now. You're already bullshitting from the moment you get out of that car. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You're right. Why did you, why mm -hmm. did you subject yourself mm -hmm. to a situation mm -hmm. that you, sh that, what was your need? You don't even, if you don't live there, why the hell did you come up there? Mm -hmm. It's not your business. Mm -hmm. but you, I mean, That's it's not like you were going up to world. help the child. Mm -hmm. You I wonder there, if police found any pictures on Summer mm. on his computer. <clears throat> I'm starting to think like that. I'm starting to think said, mm -hmm. you, you want to beg to, you want to mess with the investigation? Why in the hell did you say this? That mm -hmm. that that has made my mind mm -hmm. triple mm -hmm. wheel. And I'm, hey, I, I want to let uh, Muscles and Mascara speak. Um, She's yeah. came up a couple times, so I didn't just oh. so. How are you doing? I am good, Harry. I'm sorry. I got kicked off about three times for some reason. I'm sorry. But just going to tell you guys, um, being in Hawkins County today is a weird feeling. And, and it's, I'm just going to say that today has felt weird all day. And I'm not trying to be dramatic or anything like that, but it, something just feels weird. And... Mm -hmm. Um, I got home extremely late from work and then started looking, you know, getting on and listening to things and hearing the stuff I was hearing. It's a lot. Wow. There's been a lot happen tonight and the things that Don was going off, like he was going off in that live later on. And I've heard, you know, I've heard him go off before, but I don't know that I've heard his voice just sounded different. It was it was kind of scary. Um, so if you hey, nobody has seen that, I suggest that you go watch it. It's disturbing. Probably should trigger one. It's there's a lot yeah. that involved in it. But wow. Yes. Um, people are saying cracking cases is doing a rebuttal. Let's see what they got. So now he has a really quick question. Sure. Um, he gets picked up for pedophilia, <laughs> all of that stuff. They never raided his house? No, they did raid his house that day. I thought the, the father he... said they never did. No, no, no. He said that they the only time that they raided his house was the day his son got in trouble. Okay. Yeah. 
<clears throat> All right, everybody mute if you don't mind. Anybody got anything? Because I think that's it for me. Um, I'll, I'll answer anything you got. Um, but I believe that's everything. Uh, now, now. I, I'm, I'm going to go I back. They know exactly what happened. Okay. This. Law enforcement continues to investigate her disappearance. Still no leads. Someone was reported missing by her family June 15th. The Tennessee Bureau of Investigation issued an Amber Alert for her the next day. That alert remains active as the search continues. Today on Twitter, the TBI said they're continuing to follow every lead. They said the Hawkins County Sheriff's Office will not stop working until they have answers about. Somebody is telling us that our screen is froze. Can y'all see that? I want to make sure. Give me a one in the chat, somebody. This one. About what happened to Summer. And the TBI <coughs> So they have answers about what happened to Summer. And the TDI reiterated there's no evidence that Summer had been abducted. They're continuing to explore all the possibilities. This time, there's no evidence that she was abducted. However, all Good night, you for girl. Thank you for joining us. And the very real possibility that she wandered off and became lost in the mountainous and rough terrain surrounding her home. And they're encouraging anyone with information that could lead them to Summer to call 1-800-TBI-FIND or email tips to TBI at tn.gov. Okay. Okay. So. There's two that I was educated on something there, too. Okay. Because they still, they did say that they were, uh, they were exploring every, all, avenues. all avenues still, including South Carolina. Uh, she and Johnson City said several schools in the Close out, buddy. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, they said they were exploring, they were exploring all, avenues. all avenues. That I think that was good if y'all heard that. At this time, there is no evidence that she was abducted. However, all avenues continue to be explored, including foul play and the very real possibility that she wandered off and became lost in the wood in the mountainous and rough terrain surrounding her home. No evidence. Yeah. That basically, I mean, no evidence of anything, it looks like at this point. That's why they are still it's having part to... that People are still saying no evidence of abduction. However. However. I mean. That, all evidence. <laughs> and, then the, and then they're basically, and they're also saying that she could have wandered off. Right. That they, that's what they, and then they're showing the clips of them still searching. I don't know. I don't know why it's so hard sometimes, but I mean, that's just what, you know, that's what they're saying. We, yeah. So, did you say that? I will not repeat it. I will not repeat it. All right. So, um, so what are we going to do? We're going to continue with this one? Yes. Okay. And then we're going to show our email and then I'm done. I'm going to get off here. Uh, okay. So, we're going <laughs> to... All right, that's funny what he said. <laughs> Stop. All right. Just doing it again, man. What is going on with this thing? All of us said, holy crap, why is it so hard? <laughs> yep. Okay, here it is. Here is the interview. I, gotta pull. I had to fix everything back up where it must Jake did exactly. Yes, there's no evidence of abduction, but there's also no evidence of anything. He can pick your son so he can continue to get his click flights and views, in my opinion, to get his click flights and views and be able to stick around the wells and keep kissing their ass, and then he'll do about anything for them to be able to make that happen. Absolutely. And I 100% um, agree with you. He is the one that's trying to put that thought into people's minds. And that's why I'm out here to take it out of their minds. Because, you know, She's as I said, long. in my opinion, <laughs> um, Candace and Grandis, well, um, they know exactly what happened. 
Okay, so yeah, they're she's there just talking about me and talking about my <laughs> accusations. Uh, that was me. I'm here Locked out for my through. clicks, likes, and views, but yet I'm on, I wasn't even on here for over a week. Yeah, we had COVID. <laughs> Many times we took breaks from it. It doesn't matter. That doesn't, you know, I don't have to be on here rambling every night about something that don't make any sense. <laughs> just saying. I mean, but anyway, <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> Sometimes, you know, it's in this one. Oh. Is. Peace be with you. Okay, so <laughs> we'll keep playing here. See, but she said, I'm here to take it out of their minds. I'm here to take it out of their minds. So we're not supposed to look oh, at, God. we're not supposed to look at, um, what? <laughs> what? Do you know how bad that would be if I did that? If I did my impression. <laughs> all right. So yeah, if you know, we we have to look at all of it. This guy, it's got these charges. Come on now, yeah, take it out of their minds. Let's go on. Let's keep watching. Poetic justice. Yeah, we. Uh, I'm extra giggling just because it's really late and I'm highly amused by some things, and I'm so sorry. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> We have senses of humor too. Right, we do. <laughs> They're not always just. Hold on a second. Let me play this. This summer, they're covering it up, and they need to, um, you know, be brought to justice for what they're doing. In my opinion, that's my opinion, absolutely. And that's why. I'm sorry. Go ahead. That's why I called you and. Um, to get the truth. Okay. Um. That. That's it. Does anyone need to play it again? And that's not her whole interview, by the way. Hold on a second. Let's talk about clicks, likes, and views. See this <clears> for a part two, I believe. And we're just, you know. Just, Six, 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 six. Yeah, but she said she didn't play the whole thing. Right. It's a part two. That's you know, let's just let's just move on from that. That's over. Um, let's. Uh, I'm going to get into the email part now. Oh my gosh, she said. Natasha said. I just call oh, Natasha. Natasha, they want me to do my prayer garden and pray to her <laughs> voice, and I'll just tell you right now. I I'm just not gonna told do him it. I want him to do it. I'm not going to make fun of somebody else on here. That's not right. I shouldn't do it over here. I'm wrong for that. Okay, <laughs> so let's go. <laughs> let's, oh, get, let's go into this email now. I'm, I'm not going to. I just want y'all to know that Cam can do impressions of <laughs> almost everybody. It's hilarious. <laughs> oh, my Lord. Let's go. You're going to get me in trouble. I don't know Natasha's in here somewhere. <laughs> All right. I used to oh, oh, we got another one. What? Oh, did she say <laughs> she wants me to do it, too? <laughs> no, I'll get, I'll get in trouble here. We got to keep it positive and professional, right? That's right. All right, let's roll on. I'm myself. I'm good now. Okay, good. Let me, am I still sharing screen there? Yes. Okay, good. I'm going to, okay, I'm going to switch over. We're going to pull this. I don't want to give out his email address and stuff because I'm not going to do that. So we'll just read it. I think that's a better way to do it, right? What'd she say? I don't have your face. Don't have my face. <laughs> you got your face. She said, just kidding. Don't be like that. <laughs> no, that's fine. So I said, let's see. Let me pull this up. Um, here he is. All right. Here's the email back that I got from Don Senior last night. If you're late coming in here. Uh, let's, uh, I want to read this because we reached out to him. I will actually read, is there any way I can block out their email address on here so I can show what I'm doing? No, not if you open. So I have to, I'm going to have to read it like this. So, yeah. 
I will read what I wrote to him first because I think it's only fair. Okay, it says, hey, Don, my name is Cam, and I wanted to reach out to you and ask you a couple of questions if you would not mind. Um, we have always been respectful to everyone in your community and have been on uh, multiple searches on Beach Street community and other places. Uh, let's see here. <clears throat> and on Ben Hill Road and many others, and I do not share anything that I talk with people about so law enforcement has time to run their investigation. I've never mentioned your property on, or anything like that and or tried to publicize anything. I'm just trying to, to show and give integrity. I want to give your side of, of everything first. And then I have what? Okay, he says back to me, I have watched your YouTube footage. Like we said, that was sent before we did our first video on this. Right. I, he said, I have watched your YouTube footage and you have no clue what you're talking about. My law enforcement career was no law, was longer than you reported. So that's what he, this is what he's upset that's what about. That's started out with. Um, I was with Sullivan County for three years, which we reported. That's what we said exactly to the T. We told the dates. Hawkins County for eight months. Once again, what we reported. Reported exactly. And left there due to threats upon me by inmates and co-workers that were involved. What you didn't talk about was my nearly 22 years with Unicoi County, where I was appointed as a special deputy by the judge as the military li liaison in charge of picking up the men and women in the Tennessee Army National Guard with charges filed against them for the military. I don't... So you notice he said... Nearly 22 years. He corrects that later. I don't live on Ben Hill or on Simpson Road. I live in Sullivan Dark. Well, my girlfriend and her mom live over there. I visit on the weekends. On the day. So she's Sunday not the mother in law. I was in Maryland, which has been verified by the CBI. As for my son, he made a mistake. He has been charged and he is out on bond. He lives with me. He's not involved in either the Evelyn Boswell case nor the Summerwells case. He hasn't been on my girlfriend at my girlfriend's home since late 2020, early 2021, where he was with me, my youngest son and my grandson. All my son does is go to work, visit his mom, or stays at my house. <clears throat> visit his mom or stays at my house. He doesn't go anywhere else except court. And therapy. I thought he said my mother in law. Please tell the truth instead of putting negative thoughts into your listeners' heads. Thank you, Don Sherfy. And this is what uh, Allie said back. Uh, Sir, we will gladly clear things up. If you didn't notice, we didn't say that he was involved in either case. We know that Megan Boswell has been charged in Evelyn's case, and we. What? Don't say, what? Okay, yeah, that's that's what I'm saying. Well, wholeheartedly believe that she is guilty. We were only pointing out that he lived that he lived near where she was found. I would like the opportunity to maybe do an interview with you. We do not have to do it live. We can do it off the record, and you can <coughs> have a chance to tell your side and tell your son's side of the story. We try to be completely objective and point out all possibilities in the area in which Summer lived. We only want to find the little girl and find who is responsible and the truth. We were not trying to accuse your son, only bring to light the facts about his charges. And I'm sorry about that. But you have to be able to see why there is a concern there. We actually have done some very big things for this case, including multiple, multiple days on ground searches. We have gotten drone operators and dive teams involved in, in the search, and we were only trying to help. We didn't mean any disrespect, and we only want to put out the truth about things. We actually did another video last night stating that you didn't live there and that you were only visiting your girlfriend and her mom on Ben Hill. Once again, we will clear up anything that needs to be cleared up about your background. We are free to talk anytime if you would like to. 
to give your side and your sons. We hope to hear from you soon. We have not heard from him. And we have not heard back from him. So to say, and we sent that yesterday before any of the interviews <coughs> came out and everything. So sorry, guys, if I haven't seen what you were saying, I was reading that email. But we gave him, you know, we, we reached out to him first before any of this information came out and said, hey, we'd like to talk to you, be fair about everything, give you an opportunity to tell your truth first. He waited, you know, and we waited a good while. And then, you know, then we talked about it because we thought, we had, you know, probably not going to, Probably not going to, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, did we, oh, we didn't get the correction one. Oh, we there was another one in the hold before on. I replied. Yeah, back. before she replied back at the end of, please tell the truth they're putting negative thoughts into your listeners' heads. He then sends a separate email. Correction to my Unicoi County time. It was nearly 12 years. Thanks. So not 22 years, nearly 12 years. Yeah, not to him. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I gave him ample time to respond. I didn't. I put out the information. I even corrected the information without him telling me to correct it for my own research to make sure that I was being factual. This is the thing. People don't want to ever listen to that part. You know, it's I've made sure everything was factual without him even telling his side. Come back out. I, you know, we fix it. I'm telling him that he worked for Unicoi County right now, just like you said. You know, it, it is what it is. There it is. Um, we tried to be respectful. Tried my best. And, you know, Allie wrote a very good a response back to him. Uh, and it was very fair, I believe. And I think that you said exactly what needed to be said. You said the truth, you know, is that these, you know, you, he I has these charges. Have to, you have to understand that there's concern there. To say there's no concern there is, is, is to blatantly look away for for a reason. Okay. Anybody got anything? Because I think that's it for me. Um, I'll... <clears throat> so what do y'all think? I'm trying to think. I gotta say, if I ever go missing, don't let, please don't let anybody hire them. <laughs> <laughs> they're like school kids with all the giggling, weren't they? It's supposed to be serious and about somewhere. Mm -hmm. You're absolutely right. <sighs> now, did anybody ever see that sneaker that Benny says that? She lost when she was being carried away. I haven't heard anything about a oh, sneaker yes, that she lost when she was being carried away. You did, right, Tina? So apparently yeah, she lost yeah, the sneaker. Was to it. Where did where did this come from? Uh it's it's all over. Benny had it all over. He showed the shoe, it's in the videos. When the summer. I think it might even be on the website and that, that, uh, how long has this been out for a while? He found it by the footprints. Um, Who, Cam did no Benny. Benny found the shoe. Yes. And she Benny's supposedly good. lost the Benny, shoe. And he picked it up. Oh, look, see, Benny has the shoe. He took it. Okay. Because the police disregarded it. He's saying that the the shoe was by the, the tracks or whatever. And no, she oh lost my. it. But there's a sock in it. Did she neatly take her socks off to get kidnapped? I never even knew that. This is why they're all crazy. She's supposed to be barefoot. Most of the time, as well. So, was she barefoot? Did she have shoes? Why would why would a police officer not take the shoe into consideration if it was Summer's shoe and her sock that could potentially have DNA on it to confirm? Because I don't think they believed it. 
I really don't. I, I think they believe. Oops. What happened? But he also said that somebody was begging him to sell it to him. Do you remember that bit? This is insane. Well, and my, my question is, why hasn't law enforcement came and said there has been footprints? They have has never the stated there have been footprints. No, they've never released anything. So, so footprints has been out there for a while. I'll find it for you, Justin. I'll find you, Justin. I'll find it. And I, and I know, I know it's been out there, but I just, it's, I don't understand why. You know, and I, I'm just going to say it. <laughs> just say it. Forget it. But is it? Are they just creating another narrative? With this whole shoe thing, like, was it real? How do we know they found it there? How do we know that? Exactly. Because they're holding Are, a shoe up. I mean, that doesn't mean anything. Is this one big conspiracy to I throw people off? I, I don't know. I, I cannot imagine. I cannot imagine a police officer finding a shoe, a child's shoe, <laughs> that... Don and Candace would identify that yes, this was her shoe and not take it into account. Either someone is lying or these police officers are so incompetent that no wonder this child hasn't been found. It has to be one or the other. There's there's no in between. Um, Enchanted Path did it. I'm putting his well, thank you. link in there right now. Okay. You're muted. I am. Well, Did you see not. Enchanted Path's um, video on Benny as well? Well, I put the link up. That's the show. Did anyone see Ziggy's live last night? He also Great. did. No. Great. What, what do you mean? Are you yes. serious? Yes. Who said that on panel? That's part of the problem. I don't know what you mean, Dre. Um, the neighbor, the only, the neighbor is the only one that said footprints. Benny says he has the pillow. It is the one Summer was sitting on. No, I don't really believe that. If he had the pillow, he'd have to turn that over. That's evidence. But last night on Ziggy, when she was going down Ben Hill Road, uh, she saw a young guy standing out there, and she stopped and talked to him, and he gave her the directions, I believe it was, to Fred Hill's house. And when she saw his picture, which is Don Jr., Jr. this chef, whatever the hell his last name is, she said that was him and that was just in yeah. how long ago yeah she was questioning where he lived right it was just in january yeah and the thing she said he had the drone didn't i if it is uh, i don't know if, who came up did cam go go up there on her panel oh, yeah, last cam. night cam went yeah because cam went was up later on yeah the shoe was, was on the trying interview to tell Ziggy. of the house on the interview room. Summer was not wearing shoes. It was. It has been out in the yard. Benny is spinning it. That's exactly uh -huh. what I'm saying. Like Benny's full of crap. Trying to say He's yeah. saying he has a shoe. Hmm. See, this really <clears throat> messes yeah, things most up. Most of the time, she's been bad for us, isn't she? Mm hmm. He can't believe anything Benny says. It's kind of like listening to Don. You don't know what to believe. But where was Candace? And they blame YouTubers. Yeah, it's them saying lots of different things each time. Whether it's a practical joke, so I'm mentioning See that the between the lines. That's what we don't did it and know. Check right. them out. Cam's trying to say that it was a 
a different person that Ziggy saw and she's outing him on YouTube and could get him in trouble, blah, blah, blah. But she swears to God it was, well, she didn't swear to God, but she said as soon as she saw his picture, she went, that's him, the mugshot picture. Yeah, and she, she because I because yeah. when we yeah. dropped this uh, about the other two Dons the other day, and I was reading the information, Ziggy pulled up mine yesterday, and she's like, oh my God, that that's where he said he lived and stuff. And, you know, I believe, I believe, yeah. uh, hold on one second. Yeah, but that's when um, Cam went to bed after uh, Justin's live and had an epiphany. Yeah, right. Oh, he had his dream, epiphany, didn't right, Tara? Yeah. That big epiphany, right, Tara? It's like he's such uh, a... I he knew you were up, in there last night and we were going back and forth. Like, yeah, all right. Oh, yeah, you remember we were doing that? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Tara, are you from New York or New Jersey? Yeah. I'm from New York, Long Island. Yeah, Cam okay. tried to convince Ziggy it wasn't the junior. And that's what I don't understand. Why would, why would. He did. It was disgusting. Why, why would Cam mm -hmm. allegedly <laughs> try to say it's not, that's what I don't understand. He, it, basically what he's doing now. Yeah, he he's said they were part of the search team as well. Look at my cat. Oh. I don't know, guys. He said the dog and cat get along good. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they're buddies. Okay, guys, I'm going to have to end it for tonight. I've been on here three hours and 16 minutes and 44 seconds. I've been up <laughs> two hours. So <laughs> I, have to be, I have to be up in uh, three hours. Oh, you get up oh, five every morning. Yeah. Yeah, I've yeah. got to go up in an hour. <laughs> what time do your kids go to school? They go. I got to be there at eight, but I have to get their uniforms ready. I press their uniforms every morning. And I have to get my head clear. I have to do some emails and everything else. So, what time do they get up? Six thirty, generally. Okay. Yeah. So. My daughter has. You to get go to bed. Yeah. And we'll see you tomorrow. I got All some right. digging. Well, yeah. <laughs> we got some digging to do, right? Keep oh, you got your digging. tattoo tomorrow. Well, I am. Yes, that's what I'm going to do at noon. Mm -hmm. Yes. But I have right. to get Today. up the courage. Because today I had all sorts of courage. And when I got home, I was like, oh, my gosh. I got extremely tired. Like, I was, I don't know. I was like, damn, why'd that girl take so long? But I understand the breaks. So, mm -hmm. but I'll go tomorrow. And what are you actually getting again? Well, it's it's a picture of some mountains. Oh, okay. And some oh. trees in Colorado. Colorado is mm -hmm. my favorite place in the whole wide world. Oh, okay. And it it has a saying that'll go around it, up and down. Well, not up and down, over top of, you know, the over top of it and underneath of it. It says, go where you feel most alive, which is where I feel most alive. I love that, Kim. Mm -hmm. That is cool. Okay, well, good night. Just you Good gotta night, get everybody. Good night. Good night. Yeah. I just woke hey, up at 11.30, so <laughs> see if I can go back to sleep. Okay. Yeah. Hey, good, good night, everybody. everybody. Good night, everybody. Get good some rest. God, Mom, yes, we'll do it all tomorrow again, hopefully. Okay. All right. Night-night. Good night. Good night. Good night.